As I get here, what is up, Greppel? With the seven month resub, how you doing? Welcome on in, Greppel. Greppel says, Time for a relaxing stream of gunning down the local wildlife. Oh, that sneeze was not part of the game, that was definitely Sarah. <laughs> Why do I start? Also, Ha Jack with the super chat, the five dollar dodo over on YouTube. Hi, Jack. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Greppel, I appreciate your resub too. Welcome back on in. Very kind of you both. Kicking things off with a bang. And Old Coffee Addict coming in with the 14 month resub. Old Coffee Addict. How oh, the time has flown. Flied? Flown? Flown sounds right. Welcome back on in for another month. Thank you for your continued support. It is extremely kind. And while I'm out here shouting out resubs, <laughs> Dat Faya with the resub uh, a couple minutes ago uh, with a 28 month streak. Dat Faya, it is always a pleasure to see you here. It is always a pleasure to have you out. I know life gets busy. I know you've got the family and all that these days, but uh, holy heck, it is wonderful to see you. Thank you for 28 months of super kind support and of being a part of this community whenever and how often you can. It means a lot. I hope you've been doing great. You and the fam. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, hello. <laughs> it's, it's wonderful to see you all here. Uh, this is, of course, another uh, multi-stream going out to both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Sorry if you hear water running in the background. I think Sarah was just bleaching her hair. So she's got, got uh, I think the fan going in there as well. Um, but uh, it is great to, to see you all. 
Uh, happy Sunday, friends. Happy Sunday. Uh, who have we all got here tonight? Uh, certified first tonight goes to Bruce. Bruce, congratulations on certified first. Uh, in in name, if not in actuality. <laughs> Uh, I will say, you know what? We're going to say it's a tie tonight. Because per Pearls, Pearls, I think, wanted Bruce to be certified first. But you know what? We'll say you're both sharing certified first tonight. How about that? So, it is wonderful to see you, Pearls. It is wonderful to see you, Bruce. Uh, thank you for both your enthusiasms and being so punctual. Over on the YouTube side of things, Hajak, certified first as well. Congratulations, hi Jack, and thank you again for that very kind super chat. Uh, coming in after, we got Maidens, certified second, we'll say tonight, over on Twitch, and Naga, certified third, congratulations. Uh, and on the YouTube side, Uber Ponage, you are early, Uber Ponage, you are so early, so early, in fact, you are certified second, that's pretty good. And Harrison Hart, welcome on in, a certified third on the YouTube side of things. <laughs> Kevin on YouTube says, say hi now before I fall asleep. <laughs> is, that, is that a demand? Uh, hi, Kevin. Hello. Uh, I hope that you sleep well. I hope you have a good and restful sleep. Goodness gracious me. How is everybody doing? Uh, I am glad to be here with you all. I was thinking I might have to skip tonight's stream, but I really, really didn't want to. So here I am anyway. I have responsibilities and things I should be doing. <laughs> I also have a responsibility to you guys, a commitment to you guys. Um, it's definitely not because I just wanted to play more Pal World. No, that's not the reason. Uh, no, we'll talk more about Pal World in a little bit, but, uh, it is always, always delightful to be here with y'all. Uh, and I do hope that y'all have had a wonderful weekend. Uh, Celtic Cobra, how you doing? Welcome on in. Uh, Zookun Fufur, oi, oi, I saw that you messaged me on Discord. I haven't had a chance to see what you said, but I assume, pardon me. I assume it was about your uh, reward creation, the, the emote that we talked about previously. So I'll check that after the stream. Jack Barstow, what's poppin'? Chat, chat's poppin'. That's what's going on. Look at that. Uh, Nevi, hello. Hello, Nevi. Always a pleasure to see you here. Churchy, what's up? What's up with the Churchmeister? <laughs> I don't think I've ever called you that before. I guess I am now, though. Uh, we got Das Fire, da, That's Fire, That's Fire in the chat. Uh, Tokyo, hey Tokyo, oh, so good to see you. Tokyo's been here forever, you guys, forever. And I say that with love. Uh, Tokyo says, I know you don't care about football, it's true. <laughs> But OMG, I'm on such a high. My Detroit Lions are going to be competing to get into the Super Bowl next weekend. This is for the first time ever. Well, that's, that's impressive. And uh, I'm happy for you. I, can, I cannot share your joy, but I can, I can be happy for your joy. <laughs> also, hello. Congratulations to your Detroit Lions for being where they're at. Um... Naga says, Chiefs fan. I don't know where, where are the Chiefs from? What city are they affiliated with? I do not know. Look who it is. Sage, it's so good to see you. It's been a while. How you doing? Busy, I suspect. Wait, Sage, is, is tomorrow your birthday? Is that, is that what tomorrow is? I, could I, Could it be? Um, and also, happy 26 month anniversary. <laughs> uh, welcome back for another month. Uh, you have been with us for so very long, and it is always so very wonderful to have you out. Tomorrow is your birthday. Well, heck. Well, heck. 
I think we all have to give Sage, aka I am a grilled cheese sandwich, sandwich. Grilled, oh, it's now I'm a grilled sage sandwich. Wait, grilled cheese. I am, I'm a grilled cheese sage mitch. In the chat. <laughs> I didn't actually even notice. I just filled it in with your, your, your previous name. Uh, let's sing happy birthday to Sage. If, if, if that's okay. Are you all right with that, Sage? Can we do that? Is that acceptable? I don't know who's bonking me in the chat or why. I feel like that's a little rude, but that's okay. That's okay. Um, sandwich, Sage Mitch, same thing. All right. Uh, we will sing happy birthday to the Sage Mitch. Uh, right after I say, Cortex, holy cow, <laughs> the 20 month freaking resub. We got some big ones coming in tonight. My goodness. Uh, almost broke your streak, but didn't. And that's what matters. Welcome back on in for another month. I'm going to tap on this potato just out of celebration for all of the fine folks who have been resubbing here. Who are coming on in for another month with the Spud Buds today. Happy 20 month anniversary. Um, all right, let us sing happy birthday. That's what we got to do. It's important to sing happy birthday to Sage. Here we go. All together now, I want you to join me, all right? Uh, I'm going to mute this music and take this out of my ears <clears throat> so I can sing in tune. It's important. It's important. Here we go. <clears throat> me, 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 me. Three, two, one. Happy. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear, I am a grilled cheese sage Mitch aka Sage, happy birthday to you, and many more. <laughs> I wasn't laughing at you, just so you know, Sage. I was laughing at me saying, I've got to sing in tune. Then I'm like, happy birthday to you. Uh, boy, 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 boy. Uh, but we got there. We got there together. <laughs> this is Nick or Frank Sinatra? Nick Sinatra. The ASMR Sinatra. <laughs> Uh, ALK over in the YouTube chat. Great to see you. Welcome on in. ALK Chipper Drewski, how you doing? Good to see you too. Uh, Louis Sedeno said Sedeno. Am I getting that right? Louis says, uh, I just rediscovered your channel after six years. What? Hype. Welcome back after six years. How was your six years away? Are things different around here six years later? Is it like as is it as you remembered it? Or is it very different? <laughs> and what's your perspectives? Louis says, uh, was rewatching your Star Wars Battlefront vids. They bring me so much nostalgia from high school. Nice, I'm in college now. And I really am so happy to have rediscovered your channel. Yo, welcome back. That is so cool that you could come back after all this time. Uh, and I appreciate you sticking around or returning. It means a lot. And I'm glad you're still enjoying the classics. The classics. Chipper Drewski says, welcome back to Nickland. Yep, that's what we call it around here. Nickland. Um, all right, I'm just going back in the chat. Holy crap, chat is popping off tonight. Yeah. I might have to, yeah. I, I might have to, I might have to just put on the slow-mo just a little bit. I'm sorry, friends. I know it stinks. I don't like it, but uh, I'm worried. I'm, I'm afraid. I see how far the chat has already scrolled, but I will do my best. I will do my best to read every message and get caught up on your messages, and then I will turn off the slow mode and you will be free again. The YouTubers, y'all are free already. There's no slow mode on YouTube right now because you are so well behaved. <laughs> Twitch chat's just a bunch of yahoos, a bunch of rowdies. Um, they're fantastic rowdies, though. I love these rowdies. 
crown of velvet. Hello and welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Good to have you with us. Ed Boy Actual, I'm afraid you are not actually first, but you were early ish. Maybe top 15, we'll say. Top 10, possibly. Probably 15. <laughs> but hey, it's good to see you. Mizos says, stop, you're too nice. Why? Because I called I called YouTube chat. Well behaved. And Twitch a bunch of rowdies. Harrison8, thank you for the follow over on Twitch. Nice to have you along on Twitch. Welcome all in. Hello. 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 Do you see? Do you see what anniversary you just hit? Hello, you just hit your three year subversary on Twitch. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back for uh, your 36th month. Like I said, we got some huge ones here right now. Some huge ones. Hello. Uh, that is epic. Thanks for sticking around all these years. Thank you for being an amazing part of what we have here and continuing to be uh, an amazing part of what we have here. That's extremely, extremely appreciate it and uh i hope you're doing great hope you've been having a good weekend um all right there's some football chat that was going on some football chat fair enough zutari he appears i materialize out of the ether summoned uh from the the dross of the internet to appear here before you synthesized by a uh, an AI agent <laughs> a GPT network here to entertain you <laughs> Naga 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 has just gifted us to Budspot Budspot welcome back on in Budspot uh, doing the Lord's work turning your chat messages into butts uh, 36 months butt flies. <laughs> Thank you, butt spot. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you, butt spot. Uh, Naga has just gifted butt spot their 17th month <laughs> subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I just love what that says about all y'all and the generosity of this community. The fact that our butt spot has been subscribed for 17 months. That is outrageous. That is absolutely outrageous. I mean, it's wonderful. Uh, that might say more. Well, I guess that says several things about the community, I guess. It says, y'all are very, very kind and generous. And y'all really like that booty. Obsessed with butts. That's okay, though. Uh, who am I to judge? Uh, Purple Army over on YouTube says, I went and had a look back. I started watching you seven years ago. <laughs> Purple Army, where were you seven years ago? How did, was your life different? I mean, everyone's life was different seven years ago, but I often hear from people who are like, yeah, I started watching you in middle school and now I'm like a grown ass adult with a job. And I'm like, I can feel myself rot. <laughs> Uh, well, I wouldn't say I often hear people say that, but it does happen occasionally and it always blows my mind. A lot happens in seven years. A lot happens in seven years. Uh, Purple Army, thanks for being around this whole time. I mean, I don't know if you have been, like, watching the whole time or if you've sort of come and gone, but either way, thanks for being here after seven years. Uh, Shipper Drewski says, Butts about making asses out of all of us. It's the truth. It's the truth. Spot do ASMR whisper preparing scientific samples was your first video here. The fact that that was seven years ago actually hurts because when I think, oh, yeah, seven years ago, that was like 2013, right? That's like when I started the channel, right? No, <laughs> in my mind, I, I feel like I did not film that sampling soil sampling video all that long ago. It was when I was still in grad school, but that wasn't that long ago. I think mostly it's because my grad school adventure went on and on and on. So 
so it was really not that long ago that I finished it so um, though he says you haven't aged a day man wow big big uh, thanks that is very very generous of you to say very kind of you to say I look like I was thrown in a cryogenic chamber I don't know what to say about that what's the secret uh, avoid the sunlight stay inside uh, in the dark and <laughs> just never go out and then you're good you're good uh, also get a, get a good air conditioner <laughs> uh, Mr. Sky what is up uh, Kuro what is up and John Wismiller what is up John I owe you a name trace I missed it last stream and I think maybe you've fallen asleep or left by the time I asked about it again I refunded the points to you but if you would like one tonight make sure to put that request on there and I will I will prioritize it because uh, you are owed it um, uh, Rango says hello everyone my gaming focus has shifted to Final Fantasy 14 once again I always hear I, you know I should really Trying to give that another shot. I was here, it's really good. Lots of wholesome people. What's the most wholesome game community you've ever met? For me, I think the Guild Wars 2 online community is actually quite wholesome, like, especially for an MMO. Um, but yeah, I mean, if it's a whole online community, just full stop. It's this one, without a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt. But uh, if it's a game-specific community, yeah, I'm gonna say Guild Wars 2 is pretty good. Zokunfofer says, hey, Nick, I made some friends on Discord and we made a Minecraft server together. That's a blast. I always love it. It's been so long since I played some good multiplayer Minecraft. Yeah, that's always a fantastic time. Okay, Pearls very adamantly says that Bruce is first tonight. <laughs> oh, and who am I to argue? Who am I to argue? I wasn't here. So, Bruce, the crown goes to you, my friend. Certified first for real tonight. <laughs> and as if uh, we didn't already have some amazing uh, folks who have been around for a very long time in this community, it's one of our I was gonna say like old oldest fogies in this community. <laughs> One of our geriatric ASMR uh, Twitch community members. <laughs> Welcome, Drake Connors, ASM artist, elder of the chat. Uh, Drake is fantastic to see you, my friend. What is up? How you doing? What's new in Drakeville? Uh, thank you for the 56 month resub. That's a ridiculous number. That's very, very silly, but also wonderful. Where indeed does the time go? Where indeed? Uh, I'm gonna shout out our buddy here because not only is Drake a fogey of the chat, Drake comments, Drake comments, ASMR artist. Uh, he also does ASMR and live streaming and all that good stuff. Check him out, hit that follow, make your life better. Take control of your life. Follow Drake. Be improved. Have <laughs> a better life experience. Uh, Grapple asks how my paper revisions are going. This is something a few of you maybe know about because I've mentioned it a few times. Uh, they are not yet done. Uh, but they're coming along. There was, there was a lot of revisions to make. And uh, I had to consult with... Uh, co-authors for their input and I have another meeting with a co-author tomorrow <laughs> to get some more feedback um, I am the lead author on this paper so ultimately you know I'm the one that has to make the final revisions and, and resubmit and stuff but you know certainly you want to um, be respectful of the input from all your co-authors if they care to contribute to the revisions uh, not everyone will but uh, usually in this case my the second author is quite involved so uh, so but it's getting there 
this week I really, really, really want to resubmit because uh, it is it is somewhat time critical. <laughs> we are on we are on a timer here. So, um, Fisher the Fish says I just watched the video. I was so excited for the Power World gameplay. It's uh, it's pretty compelling. I have to say that there's definitely something here. Uh, best maidens, what is up? Um, if you have not received your card yet, it should be any day now because we've I've heard from people all over the world in the last week or so uh, that they've been receiving their cards. Some people even the week previous. So, uh, but I've also heard from some people not that far from here that they haven't received their cards yet. So, it's really random. It's, it's really random how long it takes. Uh, but anyway any time I would expect. Um, also, thank you for shouting out Maidens. Maiden streams here on Twitch. Variety streamer. Awesome member of this community. Regular raider bringing uh, their awesome folks on over to hang out with us. So, uh, Which is always much appreciated. Uh, C-O-C-E-O-D. C -E -O -D. <laughs> I think you told me how I was supposed to pronounce that once and I've completely forgotten. How goes RAM usage with this game? I haven't checked. I have a lot of RAM, so I have not, I have not checked, but it hasn't been a problem yet. <laughs> Meanwhile, butt spot. Howdy hi, how goes the butt usage? <laughs> well, the butt usage is going about as it normally does. I sat on it a lot today, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Right now though, I'm standing. That's what I do when I'm streaming, and sometimes when I'm working. It's nice having the sit-stand desk. Um, Cortex says, I'm great, man. Thanks for asking. I'm going well. I'm going well. Yes, I'm going well. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm glad you are going well, too. Uh, and thank you for the hair compliments. I actually am using a, a different conditioner right now uh, because I ran out of my regular stuff from the Kirkland brand from Costco, which is good. It's really good stuff. I swear by it, but haven't had a chance to get out to Costco for a little bit, so. Um, Gorog, welcome on in. Uh, I only just hit the part of the chat where we were singing Sage Happy Birthday. Oh my god. I am literally an hour behind. Maybe not an hour. I've only been streaming for half an hour. I'm probably 20 minutes behind. <laughs> Celestial Dragon. Thank you for the sub on YouTube. I don't know if you are watching right now, but if you are, please know that I appreciate it. Mr. Ghost, I'm glad you got the card. And I'm glad you liked it. It was my pleasure. Tokyo Pal World is, is cool. Uh, it's a little rough, but it is, as it says here, in Game Preview, aka Early Access, I suppose. Uh, but there's a good core there for sure, for sure, for sure. Um, you need some ASMR lullabies. I know that lots of people do do ASMR lullabies. I don't know that I'm the best person for it. I have, I, I don't know, that's like a public fear that I need to get over. I, when I was much younger, like preteen, I was in a school choir and I enjoyed it, but then, you know, puberty hit, my voice did all kinds of weird stuff, I got very self-conscious about my singing voice, and I don't really ever sing anymore, <laughs> but uh, part of me kind of wants to sing more somehow, but, but like anything, you know, it's, you gotta exercise your vocal cords and practice, otherwise you, you know, I don't know, I don't know. Roars, Roars C, coming back for month number three. Roars, thank you for coming back on in for another month. Enjoy your brand new subscription badge. Our boy Inigo, Inigo the Brave, with a very fashionable Colombian third era for him. Uh, and thank you for your continued support. I appreciate it. Welcome back on in. Um, hey, 
Hey, check it out. It's Anna. Anna cannot drive. Chilling with us tonight. Anna, how have you been? It's been an age, I feel like. Uh, what's new with you these days? Uh, <laughs> how glad you like the singing, Sage. Hey, burning question. It's also been quite some time. How are you tonight? Burning question says, I always thought ASMR with guns would be a blast. Uh, a real knee slapper. <laughs> a real knee slapper. Uh, Datfaya says, uh, Celine Dion, Shania Twain, and Nick the ASMR nerd. Why does all the best hair and vocals come from Canada? Oh, uh, dear me. I am flattered, Datfaya. Thank you. Uh... Uh, and I do not have an answer, uh, but I, I guess, you know, I never really thought about Shania Twain's hair. Celine Dion did have some lovely hair, probably still does, I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, okay, enjoy your lurk, Sage, enjoy your lurk, 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 lurk. Uh, MZ9, good evening to you, welcome on in. Anna says, hey Nick, glad I could make the stream. It's been a little while. Yeah, it has been, like a few months, I want to say. What's new in Anna Land? Anna Land. Oh my gosh, I only just hit the part where I turned on slow mode. What is going on? What is going on? Um, after all we've been through, I would slap the slow mode on you. You should probably know that by now, Anna. 36 months at times flies it says Henlo okay now I can tell exactly how behind I am I'm 16 minutes behind okay okay I can that's recoverable that's recoverable uh over in the YouTube chat Hajak says while well, sharing journeys I started watching on Twitch as Iona oh I did not know that I did not know that and now you are here on YouTube back uh then you're in high school now you're an entry level land surveyor. Yo, congratulations on your success with your career so far. That's huge. It's always funny when I I finally connect names between YouTube chat and Twitch chat because if you don't tell me, I usually don't know, right? <laughs> so, uh, that's fantastic. Well, I'm, I'm really glad that uh, you are still hanging out with us, uh, Iona slash Ahajak, because I, I did not know. You were the same person. Uh, Chipper Drewski says, Nick, have you ever thought of doing some chill sailing in Sea of Thieves for a video? I've had a lot of requests for Sea of Thieves over the years, yes. So I have thought about it, but it's a game that I've, for one reason or another, just never got into. And so I never really, like, I don't know how easy or hard it would be to record a video. Is it an always online thing? Like, what do I have to worry about being ganked by other players at all times? Because that makes the relaxing stuff kind of hard. <laughs> the vibes are nice. And, oh, you literally just replied. Or you, you explained that. There's now a solo mode. So I don't have to worry about people chasing me down. Thank you for anticipating my question. Well, with that in mind, then, yes, that is very much worth checking out. Especially because I'm pretty sure it's on Game Pass, which I have. So, so many games, so little time, but I'll make an effort to check it out. I, I have seen some stuff from it and it does look pretty chill. Enoch, what is up? Friend of a friend, hello, hello, hello. Naga says you have butt flies, you need to see a doctor. I know, I thought about that one when butt spot busted that out. Is my winged butt not normal? fly away. Imagine if you had the superpower to fly, but you had to fly everywhere ass first. <laughs> that, was, like, that was the part of you that levi like that had the buoyancy that levitated. So you just gotta, you know. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be pretty bad as far as superpowers go. I mean, it'd be cool to fly, but I'm sure you'd figure it out eventually. Like You'd find a way to do it, but I don't think you could ever do it and not look silly. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that... Shh, Tokyo, shh. 
It's mine, my own, my precious. <laughs> you haven't finished today. I was watching a bit of Fellowship the other day for the first time in a long time. Uh, I like people says as long as you take your vitamin D, you'll be fine. And I, I do. I take a vitamin D supplement because especially this time of year, you know, it gets dark pretty early here, you know. Uh, so I some days do not see the sun. Well, I, I, I see it out the window, but I don't, I'm not out in the sun. Uh, so yeah, definitely the vitamin D supplement is essential. Essential. Oh, your tummy hurts. Eyelash, I'm sorry. I'm sending you good tummy healing vibes. Good tummy healing vibes. Uh, but yes, please, uh, do what you gotta do. Take care of yourself. Thanks for being here all the same. Ah, Drake. <laughs> I'm glad, glad you're here with us. I'm doing good, tired. I'm tired, if I'm being honest. But you guys energize me. I mean, you exhaust me too, but you also energize me, you know? <laughs> you know. Uh, Kuro says, I've got a question or topic of conversation for the chat. If you could choose any six Pokemon from any generation to build a team with them, what would that team look like? It's a good question. I'd have to think about it. I'd have to think about it for a little bit. I don't know if I can answer that off the top of my head, but it's a good chat topic. Grapple says, just got home and my cat sleeping in the middle of the kitchen floor. Uh, or to, yeah, bleh, bleh. just got home to my cat sleeping in the middle of the kitchen floor because the floor was cold, then refusing to move so I could put the shopping away without hassle. So that's where you just like, kind of like gently push the cat out of the way, you know, m sweep the floor with the cat. <laughs> Um, I used to have a cat that would enjoy tummy rubs and she would like lay on the kitchen floor like that. And so I would like give her tummy rubs because she'd just be laying there with her tummy up. And then while I was doing that, I kind of like swoosh her around <laughs> like, I was, like I was sweeping up the floor and she, she loved it. She was a little goof. Uh, Gisa says, thank goodness I got here early. I need more points for Bunger. Saving up, saving up. Bring them bungers in. Uh, <laughs> Cocaine Berry, aka Vex, thank you for reminding me. I saw the name and I was like, I know that I'm not supposed to call you Cocaine Berry, but I couldn't remember what I was supposed to call you. So thank you for clearing that up. Now that I've called you Cocaine Berry, what's up, Vex? What's up? Just the stream you needed after getting out of the hospital. I hope that your stay at the hospital was something planned and not an emergency but whatever it was i'm glad you were out and i hope you are doing better also that was a beautiful bunger that was a beautiful bunger whose bunger was that it was nath's bunger <laughs> nath, how you doing did you get your card nath i can't remember i'm kind of taking stock of who has and who hasn't received their card yet um Oh, you said in the chat a little further down here, you say, hey, thank you for the lovely Christmas card. It arrived the other day. Great. Uh, saved it from my mama who thought it was junk, as I don't know if you're from Canada. Oh, no, I'm glad she didn't throw it out. I, I hand write the outside of the envelope with the hope that people will pause. And because if it was just printed, I feel like people would be more likely to throw it away if they didn't recognize it. I also put my return address on it so you can see that it's from me. So hopefully that's helped. Hopefully. I hope. Uh, Gieses asks, what is this paper for? Um, oh, the paper I was discussing earlier. It is um, uh, just a, a scientific publication. So, like, in many areas of research, it's expected that you publish papers, which are just where you talk about your research, you share your research with the world, you outline what you set out to discover or test, 
and how you did it and what results you found and what it means. And that's sort of the standard method of disseminating, you know, science and research. So, um, but this particular paper is the first one that I have ever been the first author, the lead author on. You know, I've contributed to a number, but this one's mine. So it's sort of my first time going through that system, right? These are all what they call peer reviewed, which means you submit it to a journal, you know, which is a publication that, that publishes papers on a topic or a variety of topics. And uh, then the editor decides if it looks appropriate for the journal and if they think it looks okay, they'll send it out to reviewers who are other people in your field of study from around the world who are presumably experts um, on at least some aspect of what you're presenting in your paper. And then they review it <laughs> and they will say, this was good. This was not good. This is needs improvement. <laughs> uh, you know, so it's a fairly, a fairly rigorous form of peer review. Um, but of course it really entirely depends on the reviewers you get. Some reviewers can really kind of phone it in. Others can go really go to town. Um, so it can be quite a very, you know, the experience can vary quite widely of, uh, you know, revising a paper following review. So, uh, grapple your knowledge of Pokemon ends at Gen 3. That's okay. What about Gen 3 and earlier Pokemon? What would be on your team? Yo, Christian, what is up? Good to see you. Christian says, my Surrey or Pals World vid put me to sleep so quick. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was a little concerned it maybe wasn't as relaxing as, as some of my regular stuff. Only because it was a little chaotic. I was learning the ropes, but I'm glad you liked it. Cortex is hell yes, I grew up in Kirkland and lived off those big balls of Costco shampoo and conditioner. They're good. They're legit good. A lot of stuff from Costco is like that, where it's like, it's not the name brand, but it's as good or better than the name brand, you know? Um, I am very slowly catching up on chat, I believe. I believe. Uh, singing properly is hard, says Drake, takes lots of practice. Yeah, and you, you would know, right? Um, whereas I, I just wouldn't, because I don't. <laughs> Christian says, you so should, I bet you got a banging voice. <laughs> Aw, thank you guys. Thank you for the vote of confidence. Kuro says, I can't sing worth crap, plus I hate the sound of my voice. It's tough, right? If you are not happy with how you sound, it can be really tough to convince yourself to keep practicing to potentially overcome that, right? Uh, yeah. It can be tough to motivate yourself that way. Tokyo, you used to be the lead singer of a screamo band? Wait, did I know that? I don't think I did. That's fun, though. Did you have to work on vocal techniques so as not to destroy your voice? Because I know that can be quite challenging in its own way. Billy Room, what's up? Hello. What's up? Anna cannot drive. Wait, breaking news from Anna cannot drive. Anna got a car this Christmas. <laughs> but apparently, Anna still cannot drive. But you must be learning, right? If you have a car now, are you learning how to drive? When that happens, do we have to ch do you change your name? Will you become Anna Can Drive? Maybe so, maybe so. I guess that's up to you. Uh, hey, look who it is in YouTube chat. Cat Plant ASMR, you guys. Cat, it's wonderful to see you. How have you been? Happy New Year. I guess we're kind of out of that New Year's, wishing people New Year's time period, but I don't think I've spoken to you this year yet, so happy 2024. Uh, Cat Plant is asking if this game is fun. Yeah, um, I did a video with it uh, just the other night, and it's it's pretty rough. Like it's still very early access, but it's definitely got something compelling there. 
like if you enjoy survival style games like Ark or Valheim and you like Pokemon uh, it very much fuses those kinds of things so but there is a kind of brutal element to it where there's definitely like uh, I don't know what Sarah's doing I'm not sure what that noise is um, where there is like sort of this like weird undercurrent of animal cruelty because you gotta like but I mean I guess you could argue that Pokemon has that too but this game definitely leans into it and I could definitely see that being upsetting to some people you know but uh, yeah anyway uh, do you have Game Pass Kat because it uh, is on Game Pass so if you already pay for Game Pass then check it out there would be my recommendation but I think there is something like good fundamentals there for sure a strong core to this game um teleslops thank you for the two year resub teleslops happy sub anniversary two dang years is a long time to be supporting thank you teleslops for your kindness and also teleslops asks can't you also catch people i have i've seen a rumor that you can i can neither confirm nor deny whether you can catch people in this game that's a whole different level of messed up though if you can I have not encountered the people catching yet, if that's the case. But I feel like that could go a whole lot of very dark places. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, Kaplan says, you're the best. Uh, I'm doing well, thank you. I see it looks interesting. I haven't played Ark. And I haven't played much of Pokemon. Well, then it might be a very like different experience, I guess. Something very fresh for you. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, the, the basics of it, as from what I've seen, is like you're dumped out in the world with nothing, and like, you know, not even clothes on your back, and you're picking up sticks and you're chopping down trees, kind of Minecraft style, I guess, right? Um, like many other survival games, but there's also these creatures wandering around, so you catch those, and then they help you, like, build your base, gather your, your resources. But then you also battle with them. So it seems cool. I I think it seems cool. It, it's definitely less kid friendly. Yeah. I mean that's one thing, of course, is that like Yeah, the Pokemon games have always been very, very hesitant about being darker or exploring more adult themes. You know. I don't mean like explicit adult, I just mean like you know, just more mature themes, right? Um, because Nintendo has always been very adamant that, like, Pokemon games are for kids. <laughs> um, but it's always kind of been at odds with the whole, like, competitive Pokemon scene, because that gets very intense. You know, I don't know. It's Nintendo has some weird hang-ups when it comes to how they treat Pokemon, I think. But if nothing else, I do hope that the ridiculous explosive success of Pal World over the last few days maybe catches the attention of some folks at Nintendo and Game Freak and the Pokemon company you know just because it shows how much appetite there is for like a different twist on the Pokemon formula and a slightly more like mature take on it I guess I don't know if mature is quite the right word I don't know that Pokemon with guns as a concept is like mature exactly but it's definitely darker anyway I don't know about the end game yeah I have no idea what the end game of this looks like I think there's some kind of story I believe there's some kind of like lore to the setting but it is still in early access so I think it's still under active development right so yeah I've, I've only played for like a couple hours tops so I'm not sure it's interesting though I think it's pretty cool um uh boop, boop, boop. Mizo over on YouTube I'm just scrolling back in the YouTube chat because I missed a bit Mizo said I have this habit of not getting into games because they're older and I convince myself I've missed the moments for them it's weird and I'm holding myself back with that mentality 
if I did that, I would never ever play any games ever because I, I have this terrible habit of like, when a game is hot, I'll try it out, I'll play it for a few hours, and then I'll get distracted by the next shiny thing, and then I won't come back to that game until like months or even years later. And so, I have this thing where I, I've, like, I've played a little bit of a lot of games. It's probably not a great way to be. But, no shame in coming back to a game after the sort of zeitgeist has passed, right? Uh, those games are still good. JJ, I do not think you need pals to play this game. You can play it single player if you want. But it is also co-op if you want. Beanard, good to see you. What's up? Ah, oh, thanks for the kind words. I've been doing well, thank you. Ah, uh, Last Man Standing says the title of this game looks very similar to Immortals Phoenix Rising. Same composition and font. Hmm, yeah, I see kind of what you mean, actually. I see kind of what you mean. Yeah, you're right, the framing is kind of similar to the composition, like you say. Uh, goodness me, overthinks, welcome on in. As everyone can probably tell, I am, once again, even further behind in the chat. It's how I be. Sorry, what? COD? Reminds me of an old Japanese legend of bandits learning butt magic. <laughs> I'm a little bit intrigued about what butt magic entails, but maybe I don't want to know. Yo, it's Handsome Dashing Princess in the Twitch chat, aka Orange Slice. How are you? How are you? Uh, how do I know when I need to take my supplements? Uh, what signs does my body give me? That's a good question, actually. And I wish I could tell you that it was a scientific thing, but uh, I just take it through the winter months when it gets dark early. I don't even have like a precise set, you know, time that I start taking it or anything, but it was at the recommendation of my doctor, you know, but um, yeah, I don't know. I just do it when I feel like I think I need to, but it's not based on any anything I feel. It's more what I think, I guess, if that makes sense. Caplan uh, says, I've played Shin Megami Tensei before, and I guess that it gets compared to Pokemon. Uh, and I haven't played Shin Megami Tensei, so I don't, <laughs> I don't have that point of reference. But, you know, yeah, it's, you know, it's like many other creature collection games in that, you know, the creatures are roaming the world, you capture them, in a ball-like device, and then they, they each have different abilities, you know, powers, and like elements, and then certain elements are good or weak against other elements, right? Um, move sets like that. I live a, a ways up north, but not quite as far north as some people might think, Cat, because I'm, uh, I'm in like the very southwest corner of Canada. So, like, not very far at all from, like, Seattle area, pretty much. But it does still, you know, we still do get the, the darkish winters here. But not really any different than, like, most other Canadians, I guess. By the way, I don't think I actually s said, but y'all should definitely, if you are not already subscribed to Cat Plant, go check out Cat Plant on YouTube. Uh, sh her stuff is fantastic. All kinds of amazing, super tingly gaming ASMR. Lots of awesome, like, uh, handheld uh, gaming console ASMR and stuff like that as of late. Um, and role plays, really good role plays. Uh, like, extremely high quality stuff. Super duper tingly. If you guys like the gaming and the ASMR, which I'm pretty sure you do, definitely, definitely go sub to the cat plant. Um, go to Vic on Twitch says this game is very addicting. Yes, I got that feeling. Having only played it a little bit, I keep thinking about it and wanting to go back to it. Tokyo says Nick, I'm always trying to move out of the USA. I'm just curious about your opinions on Austria. 
you've lived in Tokyo, but you couldn't work there anymore. Uh, Austria. Wow. Uh, I've been to Austria exactly once. And it was quite some time ago. Um, like 20 years ago. <laughs> was it like 17, 18 years ago? Um, and I, I thought it was pretty cool, but I have no perspective on what it would be like to live there. It was very beautiful. I enjoyed some very tasty food. Uh, the Alps were incredible. Uh, Vienna was lit. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't have much more perspective than that. I went to a really cool ice cave, but I don't think that's something that you normally do if you live in Austria. But it was super neat. Um, Anna says, I am learning how to drive, but I'm awful. I've run multiple stop signs, I've hydroplane, and I've run over many curbs. Okay, I thought that was going somewhere else. You're like, I've run over many. I was like, oh my god, curbs. Okay, that's all right. That's just part of the learning process. As long as you're not running over any living things or causing any property damage, you're doing okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I bet you would really have to practice your technique doing Screamo Tokyo. For sure. Yeah, because otherwise you just won't be able to sustain it, right? You made the tire smell like smoke. I mean, that can't happen, I guess. But yeah, if you're riding your brake too much, sometimes the brakes smell like burning. Uh, designed by Dylan, says, hello, Mr. Nerd, like in Power World, so insane, and the record is breaking. It really is an unprecedented uh, level of success that this game is enjoying right now. It's like with the combination of survival and Pokemon monster catching, you could imagine that it would do well, but this is, I think, doing so much better than anyone could have even conceived of, you know? It's unreal, actually. Sargon says, I can't confirm that you can catch people in this game, so how does the game handle that? Because that sounds really dark, like I said. That sounds extremely, like, problematic, potentially. Um, you can do more than just catch them. This is getting... You, you have seen it with your own eyes. I don't know. That maybe gets to the point of being like distasteful at a, at a point. Like, I guess it depends on how it's like played out and presented. But like, yeah, at some point you get towards very op awkward and like problematic implications of like, you know, capturing creatures and forcing them to fight one another is bad enough potentially. So. But when you go from animal abuse to like human slavery, I feel like at that point, maybe that's stepping over a line. I mean, animal abuse is also stepping over a line, like IRL, don't get me wrong. I guess in games, I mean, it's, it's kind of weird. And in, in gaming, there's always a strange double standard, right? Because like, it is totally common to just murder people all the time in games. And obviously, that's not okay in real life. Similarly, enslaving people is not okay in real life. Is it okay in a game? Is it worse than murdering people in a game? Where do you draw that line? And then how do you decide what you, where you draw that? I don't know, it gets weird. Cause yeah, everyone is like totally nonchalant about murder in games. I don't know. It gets odd. Uh, but it's, it's um, I guess, a valid question or valid point, right? Uh, Bruce says, for a good portion of my professional life, I spent a lot of time making people who couldn't sing sound like they could. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess in audio engineering and music production, that is kind of what you do. And I guess the tools to be able to do that these days are, you know, probably 
pretty sophisticated, right? I bet you, Bruce, I bet you, you could make me sound like I know how to sing. <laughs> and that's not a statement about my ability, that's a statement about your ability. Seta Dragon says, I caught the traveling merchant and now I can buy and sell from my base whenever I want. Okay, that's maybe all right. I can see, I can see that. Uh, Kuro says, congrats, Nick, you are now my rival in my most recent Pokemon Infinite Fusion run. <laughs> Nice. I hope I'm confident. And I will try very hard not to murder a creature on this stream, Naga. I can't promise anything, but I will try not to. I will simply capture and enslave them and force them to fight for me. But I'll try not to murder anything. Malbec, I'm doing great, thank you. I'm doing great. Anna says, uh, YouTube chat and Twitch chat are like cousins you never get to see because they live across the country and only communicate with you through grandparents talking about them to you. <laughs> That's actually a really, really good uh, analogy. That is actually kind of perfect, Anna. You're totally right. I can tell, you know, I, I can explain to Twitch chat what YouTube chat is up to and vice versa. I will say, though, you could always just go over to YouTube chat and see what's happening there and vice versa, right? Uh, Minard says, I saw this game's trailers at least a year ago. Yeah, I wasn't aware about it until it just blew up a couple days ago. He just thought Pokemon with guns was a very funny idea. But what really sent me was when I saw a bunch of small mons in like a gun assembly line. Yeah, it's like you can build a military industrial complex off of the backs of your creatures. You can use their labor to build up your arsenal, is my understanding. That's pretty, pretty wild. It is definitely absurd. Yo, Javier, what's up? Hey, love having you tune in. Welcome. Cat Plant is definitely an OG. 1000%. She's been around doing this for a long time. And that's why she's so dang good at it. Uh, cat plant, cat plant, can't plant. <laughs> Did I just say that? Cat plant says, roll one of the creatures down a hill. So, I, I don't know, I don't want to spoil anything about the video that I posted tonight, because some of you might go watch it, but there's a moment in that video where something terrible happens to one of the creatures. Not my fault. I, I'm just throwing it out there. Um, and definitely they're like <laughs> their corpse essentially just rolls away down the hill <laughs> and I'm just like oh my god this is terrible I felt so so very bad it was it was it was a moment I'm not I won't tell you what happens because it was in retrospect actually slightly hilarious but in the moment it was horrifying um Beanard says, I bet you have a beautiful singing voice. Ah, thank you, Beanard. I appreciate that. Like I said, I I used to really enjoy singing when I was really young, when I was a kid, but you know. Now I just sound like the scamp. Just like that. That's my actual singing voice. Yo, what's up, Kaiju Box? Try to stay awake right now. But glad to tune in. Well, you're playing on hard mode if you're trying to stay awake. <laughs> but you are, of course, always welcome to hang out with us. Thank you for murdering the scamp. That needed to happen. Appreciate it, said a dragon. Yo, it's Drew Mizo. You do jump around from one chat to the next. And so does Anna, who just wanted to check in over on the YouTube chat. How is it over in YouTube chat, Anna? Um, Mancioti, that is quite the, quite the tale of bandits and butt magic. Um, <laughs> yo, what's up, Limit 77? You keep looking at maps. What kind of maps? Bakery guy, how you doing? Bakery guy says, what if animal fighting is culturally acceptable? Would it be wrong to try to challenge a culture? change a culture because it doesn't conform to some 
I mean, that gets into a much larger debate. I mean, and I guess it depends on where you stand on a whole bunch of things like, you know, of course, there's the hypocrisy of, you know, if we say animal fighting is wrong, but then we go and we eat animals, you know, and murder them by the billions to eat them. I mean, I, I eat meat, so I'm not passing judgment one way or another. I'm just saying there's a lot of, a lot of contradictions and hypocrisy built into, like, society and culture. And sometimes where we draw the lines can be quite arbitrary. I don't really want to start a potentially inflammatory discussion here because we're here for chill vibes, not for, like, pondering the ethics that society prescribes to. But, uh, yes, when you dig into it, there's a lot of, a lot of contradictions in the things we do. But it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, the Malbec says, Hey Nick, I'm curious, what keyboard did you use to create the intro to your YouTube videos? You know, Malbec, that's a great question. That is my very old Corsair K70 with Cherry MX Browns from 2014. It's the first mechanical keyboard I ever owned. 2014? 13, maybe. Um, Zoom tight. <laughs> um, yeah, first mechanical keyboard I ever owned, and uh, I have kept that sound clip ever since then. So that's that's it. Um, well, Tokyo, <laughs> we better get to the game then soon so that you can see what it looks like, eh? Uh, Tarot Destroyer says, hey, I jump around often, to be fair. Wait, hold on a second. Tarot Destroyer, are you also Mizo? <laughs> or am I losing my mind? Um, Kaiju Box says, I recently got laid off and your videos have really helped as I search for work. Um, and you've been able to sleep really well. Thanks to the videos. Hey, well, I wish you the greatest of success in finding something that uh, that you love that's a fantastic fit for you and I'm glad that the videos uh, make it a little easier for you in the meantime certainly helps to face your days and your job applications with a you know a good night's sleep uh, behind you um, and I know that grind uh, you know the job hunt can be pretty pretty punishing so uh, I wish you all the best with that. <laughs> Caroline says, we forgive you. No, I seriously, I did not. I did not murder this, this pal. It's, <laughs> it was an NPC. I, I don't want to give away the surprise, but it was, it was a horrifying moment. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I maintain. Yo, Phase Beast, what's up? How's your lunch break going? We're doing good here. We're just chatting, uh, and hopefully we'll get to the game soon. Oh my gosh, Nightbot. Not the, the Nightbot bot, but the Nightbot human. Night with a K. K-N-I-G-H-T bot. Over on the YouTube channel. What is up, Clay? How you doing? New channel idea just dropped. Scamp sings ASMR. <laughs> Make it a reality, Clay. Make it happen. This is your moment. Your moment to shine. Yo, Natsu, Eli, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? Um, Flacco Data Co, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Nice to have you with us. Uh, Javier says, uh, damn, I love the interactions when you and Kaplan traded beers. That was a fun one. Gosh, that was like a long time ago. Yeah, we did a, a really fun uh, little cultural exchange of of beers. We had originally hoped to be able to like, like mail them. I think it was the original plan, but then we're like, oh, we can't really do that. So instead, we I was able to find some uh, beers that were local to Cat that were being sold here, and vice versa. And it worked out because we don't actually live like that crazy far apart. So, like, I was able to find some of the beers that she recommended, and vice versa. So, yeah, that was fun. 
It's been a long time since I, I did any beer tasting video, but I will be cracking open a beer here on the stream very soon. I've got one in the fridge, our makeshift, our small fridge, because we still don't have our full-size fridge back yet. Uh, Mizo says, no, that's not me. I'm very much freaked out by that. Oh, no. <laughs> Who is it, then? Who is it? Just someone posing as Mizo. Tarot Destroyer, who are you? Who are you? Um, Navy says, well, there are a lot of lines being crossed. I think it's great that the game is pushing boundaries and letting people do weird and crazy things. I think a lot of the time it's about how it's portrayed and, like, handled in the game. Like, you can do these things with a certain sense of humor that makes them a lot softer and I, I get the feeling that's probably the angle this game takes right uh rather than making it like super hardcore and like edge lordy uh and, like designed to be provocative i i don't get the feeling that that's how this game rolls but i could be wrong i could be wrong i get the feeling it's all done a little bit tongue-in-cheek though back back off my scam Anna says, pretty slow over in YouTube chat. Much prefer the fast life over here on Twitch. <laughs> Dude, what is it? Live, live fast. Uh, laugh, no. What? Live fast, die young? Don't, don't do that. That's bad. Bad suggestion. Not recommended. Uh, Seta Dragon says, I'm at Twitch for the potato points. Fair enough. Speaking of which, oh my gosh, there's probably a ton of channel points that have been accumulating. Yes. We have, oh, a few. Okay, we've got a dad joke request from Pearls and from Rando Lopez. Let's uh, knock out a couple of dad jokes here. Uh, and uh, then we'll get to the beer opening since we are just about caught up on chat here. But let's go find some good dad jokes. Jokes. Uh, I am a fan of Reader's Digest, 151 best dad jokes that are actually pretty funny. There were some here that were actually pretty funny. The last we checked. Um, just a little bot hanging. Clay, I'm glad that you're glad you're chilling with us. I know you've been so, so busy lately. Clay says, I've been trolling one of my friends recently, but just making up mechanical by making up mechanical keyboards like hey man i just picked up the cybertech manta pro with the neon fusion linear red switches you know what everything you just said is 100 percent believable even as someone who follows mechanical keyboards it's entirely possible that there is actually a cybertech manta pro with neon fusion red linears i saw a, a switch today i kid you not it was called e emerald cabbage <laughs> the name of the name of this switch was the emerald cabbage switch and i was like i feel like that's maybe a mistranslation or something <laughs> i mean i've definitely seen switches named after like fruits like bananas strawberries uh taxi has a carrot switch uh plums uh peach uh like a, a cabbage switch like what is it about cabbage that you're trying to quality of cabbage are you trying to evoke with your mechanical keyboard switch <laughs> yo danita danita with the five month resub danita thank you very much for another month in the sub club welcome back in thank you for your continued support and kindness danita your continued support and kindness um and uh i hope you do Great. I hope we're doing great. Um, Cat Plant says that was so much fun. It was. If you if you ever want to do another beer collab, I would love to. That'd be a lot of fun if we can make it happen. I would be happy to do so. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've done a beer tasting on the channel, but I get requests fairly often. Uh. Mizo says, you heard the Logitech FR39 Ultra, it has black bear keys. Again, to 
totally believable. That could exist, for all I know. That is literally what keyboard discussion sounds like, even to someone in the know. <laughs> Straight up, though. A vaguely offensive Irish stereotype. Wait, are there, are there potato switches? Someone let me know. Someone look it up. Are there, are there mechanical potato mechanical keyboard switches? That I need to know. Um, where are we here? I was looking up dad jokes. Okay, here's a really appropriate one. Given we're talking about cabbage. We all know about Murphy's Law. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. But have you heard of Cole's Law? It's thinly sliced cabbage. Cole's Law. Cole's Law. Cole's Law. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tough crowd. <laughs> okay. All right. We've got another one here. Uh, let's do, let's do, what did one plate say to another plate? Tonight, dinner's on me. <laughs> uh, the bank keeps calling to give me compliments. They say I have an outstanding balance. No, nobody, no laughs, nothing. Oh, Rando Lopez is here for it. <laughs> good, I'm glad. Yo, what's up, Finster? Good to see ya. Welcome on in. Oh, hey, check it out. I missed, uh, I missed, uh, Crab Apple Bend and Snap. Mary, how are you? Mary says, hey, all feeling pretty down. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. That is... That is really, really sorry, or sad to hear. I'm very sorry for your loss. Uh, that's what I'm trying to say. But, um, of course, we are happy to provide you with many distractions here in a warm, comfy place full of awesome, supportive people. Um, yeah, losses is never... It is one of those things that time, you know, is is the only, the only way to, to heal, really. Um, and I'm, I'm very sorry to hear about your grandmother, Crab Apple Ben and Snap. But as time goes on, you know, the feelings of intense loss and sadness will subside, and, uh, and you'll be left with the good memories. Um, but it's always a, a huge hole, uh, especially to begin with, so. Uh, I hope you can, you can find some comfort here amongst friends. Um, Emerald Cabbage sounds like a luxury restaurant salad meal. You're totally right, me, though. Javier uh, says, you always sound great, my man. Love you. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Drunk ASMR. <laughs> I mean, that's very, that's a totally different thing. Well, not totally different thing. It's closely related to beer, I guess, beer tasting ASMR. But uh, I've, I've definitely had requests to do, like, a, a drunk stream before. I've never... I mean, I usually have a beer with my streams, but rarely so strong that I get anything beyond light, lightly tipsy, like lightly buzzed. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm already terrible enough at trying to stay on top of chat and, like, prevent things from sending it to chaos. I feel like drunk streaming is asking for trouble. Drunk video, though, it's a different matter. <laughs> but yeah, for real, if you ever would like to do, you know, another beer collab or something somewhere, I think at one point we talked about, like, trying some local wines or something. It'd be fun. I would definitely, definitely be down. Um, 
Nightbot says I'm currently using the Spectra Strike Nebula V2. Its features include switches, quantum spark linear silver switches, actuation force 50 grams, key rollover, N key, backlighting, sparkling comet RGB lighting, frame material transparent acrylic base with a metal top plate. Okay, this is actually all totally legitimate. I'm not sure if you were actually describing a real keyboard or not, because all that does sound completely legit. Absolutely. That could all be totally real. Uh, Javier says, I love uh, the cat plant is sticking around. Yeah, the cat plant's super cool. Like I said, she's uh, she's been around for a long time as a ASMR OG. And, uh, you know, it's always, always, in some ways, it feels like it's, it's nice when <laughs> people who have been in the community for a long time, you know, stick around and support one another because there's not so many from the olden days still around doing their thing like there's some big ones for sure and there's you know like there's a few i guess but it's a lot of the people who used to be part of that community many many years ago have, have moved on or are doing different things now disappeared over the years so it's always really cool to see see ogs around uh, regretful potato, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. You fit in right here, right? Fit right in here. Words. Uh, this is my not so regretful potato. Not so regretful potato. Um, that's right. <laughs> when the switches fail, you could shout, No, my cabbages. Hey, happy official birthday, Sage. Happy official birthday. I hope you have a wonderful one. I hope that you uh, get to spend some time with some folks that you like spending time with. Maybe eat some food you like eating. Just, uh, you know, have a good time. Uh, bakery guy, enjoy your lurk. Sleep well. Have a fantastic start to your week. We'll see you next time. Oh, Sammy's got some, pardon me, Sage has some information on our uh, potato switches. The purple potato is a full POM switch with a very beautiful color inspired by purple potatoes. I think I might have to try and get some purple potato switches then because that's amazing. That's incredible. I feel like we need to do a purple potato switch test on this on this channel. Um, some birthday potato taps, absolutely, Sage. We actually uh, had a request from Tokyo as well for some potato tapping as well. Oh, oh, we have a five minutes of gameplay request from Ed Boy Actual that never happens. That that reward almost never gets used. You know what that means? That means I have to drop what I'm doing and I gotta play the game for five minutes. So let's do it. Let's put five minutes on the timer. True to my word, we will play the game for five minutes. <laughs> and then uh, and then uh, we will uh, probably go crack open the beer. Okay, timer started. Timer started. Uh, Pal World Gang, uh, y'all have probably heard about this by now because it's been blowing up these last couple of days. But yeah, it is it is a combination survival and monster capturing kind of game. And uh, it has been breaking all kinds of records for uh, how quickly it's blown up. Um, I think we'll create a new world for the stream here, which means... We'll call this, call this, po po Potato Islands, Potato Islands. Um, and do we get to make a new character if we do that? Yeah, we'll do normal, blah, 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 okay. Oh, so do we keep the same character maybe? Oh no, we need to make a new one for a new world, okay. Yo, Mizo, Mizo, who was chilling out over on the YouTube side of things, now chilling out with us over on the Twitch side of things, also coming in for the 
33 month resub. Misa says, all right, laptop's charged back to Twitch chat now. Thank you, YouTube chat. I appreciate you. YouTube chat. Big shout out. Um, Miso, thank you for 33 months getting dangerously close to that two-year mark. Welcome back. I should be pausing the uh, five minutes of gameplay while I am not actually gameplay. Well, Clay, that was a very convincing keyboard you made up there. Rizu, hello and welcome. Again, those switches sound quite like quite plausible, Clay. Um Alright, back to the gameplay. Let's go. By gameplay I mean character creation. So uh yeah, we get to make a character. We can uh go with a preset here. There's lots of options. Um this guy looks like a Zeus here. Um, or we can go with the custom-ish kind of setup here. You do have to pick from pre-made faces, though. And if I was trying to, if I was trying to make myself, I want to say that beard is probably closest. Or <laughs> what do you think? The cheekbones, the cheekbones, eh? I feel like that facial hair might be a little closer. But this, what, what's the bonk about? <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> True offense says make her thick. Yikes. And boy actual says the sleeps are gonna get me. Okay, well, that's, that's alright. That's, that's part of the point here. But, um... I don't know what do you guys what do you what should I go with? This guy looks so bad. He's so upset. Uh we could look extremely kawaii. <laughs> I can't even. Literally can't even. Sorry if you guys are wondering about the squeaking. That is on my end, not your end. The squeaky door. Um what else we got here? <laughs> why, why do I sort of want to go with this? Um, I think this is the face I went with. Oh no, this is the face I went with in my YouTube video. This guy just has got fashion model vibes. This face. Uh... What do you think? Oh, one second. That door's very squeaky. One second. One moment, friends. Is perfect just the way it is it's it's classic it's classic at this point um she was just bleaching out her bangs and she was wondering whether she should re-dye them purple which is what they were before or if she should do something different with them purple's her favorite color but she's thinking about just like leaving them bleached or maybe like uh dyeing them black but i think she should go purple again but she was just asking my opinion. We'll see what happens. Okay. Um, I don't know. What do y'all think? Oh, does this count as gameplay? I don't know if I should really be. Well, we'll, we'll say it counts. But I'll go a little over the five minutes. And boy, actual. Because I know, I know we're shortchanging you on time slightly. Um, let's do... Alright, you know what, we're rolling with this face. 
This face is speaking to me. It's like a fashion model face. Okay, hair-wise, uh, there's nothing that really matches my, my hair. I guess maybe that's like the closest, sort of. I don't really have bangs, though. We could go twin tails, you guys. We could go twin tails. Uh, this is the only, like, ponytail, and I often do my wear, wear my hair back in a ponytail, but, um, not the Karen Bob. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wait, where were we? No. Does that count as a Karen Bob? <laughs> He's got He-Man vibes now. I think that's the hair I went with in my single player. Or my, uh, the one on in my video. I wish there was just like a kind of generically long hair option here. But there isn't really. Again, I will, I will remind you all, this is in early access still, so they probably don't have all the options in here yet. That just looks boring. Eh. It's okay, I guess. I, I kind of like that one, actually. That is not at all what my hair is like, but... We should make them the most interesting looking character and just have them go on a rampage, says Kuro. John Anime, the most basic looking character. Is he basic? That's pretty basic. This guy looks like a gym leader. <laughs> I don't know. I can't say I'm like thrilled with any of the options here, but. Okay, how about that? <laughs> this guy looks like such a tool. Oh my god. I don't know. Alternatively, we could just hammer home the Pokemon thing and make them look like Ash or Red. I don't even know what that would look like. How would we... I don't know, what, what's a... Ash face? <laughs> Why do I find this face funny? My face when? I don't know. Hey. <laughs> No, I like, I like this. This is this dumb supermodel face. I like this. We can make him thick if we wanted. We can make him extremely wide. <laughs> it's haunting. <laughs> okay, I have to know. <laughs> oh boy, okay, well. Captain Torso, indeed. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, um, okay, we, we have to make a decision here. Let's Okay, let's just go with... Uh, okay, we're just going to go with... This, this is the one I hate the least, I think. So we'll go with that. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. That looks all right. And uh, body-wise, we'll make him a little, a little thick. Let's give him some... Oh, yeah. Let's jack up those arms. <laughs> Thickness. Oh, my Lord. Look at that cake. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> Look at his butt. <laughs> this is unreal. Uh, I feel like... I feel like this goes... Like... It's like, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And then as soon as you get into this range, it just goes wild. <laughs> Built like a Pixar model. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my Lord. A snow cake. That's a whole dang bakery. The whole dang bakery. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. 
dummy thick is right. <laughs> oh lord, he coming. Okay, all right. I can, I would be. I we cannot have this much thickness going on. Uh, I would be completely distracted by by the clap of his cheeks all game long. So uh, let's try and bring him back to like a slightly more reasonable proportion. We got. It. Uh, let's bring his torso back up a little bit. There, that's a a pretty good, slightly thick looking dude. I think. Uh, as far as hair color goes. Oh, what do you think? What do you guys think? Mm. I went with green on my YouTube video. Should we just go with like bright freaking yellow? I think we can match the uh, and the eyebrow color, which actually controls the beard too. Oh uh, wait, what did I do? There we go. <laughs> this guy looks. I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Holy cow. Built like a Roblox character. <laughs> Give him the uwu heart eyes. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful, but then his eye color has to change. How about, how about that? How about that? That's pretty beautiful. We can make it all matched. What other hair colors do we have? Okay, all right. I'm 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 seeing something here. And wait for it. Wait for it. Uh, beautiful. Now this is what I'm talking about. Um, we are gonna have to make them a little thicker though. If he's gonna look like this, just a little thicker, just a little thicker. Oh, why, hello there. <laughs> Maybe those arms are a little much, a little much, a little much. He's gotta have the cake though. All right. I think, I think, is this clock not? <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely, 1,000%. Uh, Tatsuki, what's up? Welcome to the YouTube chat. Tatsuki says, after watching a bunch of other folks, YouTube recommended me this stream. Well, welcome. This is probably a little different than what you're used to. This is an ASMR gaming stream, so... Around here, we're super chill, super quiet. Uh, his biceps are bigger than his head. Yeah, and that's perfect. That's perfect. He's beautiful. Okay, that's it. That's it. Um, now, I, I did notice a white voice. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not very relaxing at all. Um, oh man. Uh, why is that so funny? He's he's a bit wide, isn't he? Maybe he's like slightly too wide. I don't know, you guys. He's like slightly too wide. Uh, whatever, whatever. Um, we are super chill, super quiet biceps are bigger than his head. Uh, okay, now I noticed that there's nowhere to pick a name around here. Um, when I looked at my character name in my previous save, it was just like player 533. So I guess I thought maybe I'd missed a name somewhere in character creation, but... I don't think so. I just don't think it's an option. I just don't think we get to pick his name. Which is a real shame. Alright, let's do it. We're doing it. Let's start the game. They're admiring his 
beauty. It's beauty. <laughs> Sorry. Some of my towers, the tree holds the truth. There's that cake. I was just laughing at Nightbot in the YouTube chat saying, don't worry about the crowd of player character voices grunting at full volume. This stream is actually intended for relaxation and ASMR. Into the truth. That little piano flourish is so very Breath of the Wild. So very Zelda. Yo. There goes a Pokemon. I mean, a pal. Definitely go capture some pals. Um, okay, I was originally going to do five minutes of gameplay, but here we are. We've done quite a bit more. So this is, in fact, where I started the last game. So it looks like you always start in the same place. Just good to know. Here we have an expedition survivor who I believe is going to give us some wood. <laughs> Did you just come from the outside world? I can tell. You don't have the smell of pals on you. Just out of context, a really weird thing to say to someone. Take it too easy around here and you'll get yourself killed. Here, take this. Make a weapon or something. Nice. Got some wood. Um, so I think we should go over this way because this is where we saw that little cat critter go. Cativa over there. Got a cativa and a lamb ball over there. I don't know if there's a way to pause the game. I feel like the game doesn't pause even when you're in the options menu. Which is like maybe a problem for us here. But uh, that's, that's okay. We'll just roll with it. Yo! Look who just joined us. Sleepy and friends. Welcome in, Sleepy, Raid, and, wait, Sleepy and her Michaels? Sleepy and her Michaels. I'm pretty sure, is that right? Matthews? Michaels. Uh, welcome, Raiders. Welcome. Come on in. It is great to see you all. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Sleepy, how was your stream tonight? Speaking of awesome OG ASMR streamers and YouTubers as well, Sleepy is both both you guys michael indeed okay good glad i got it right um please uh go follow uh sleepy uh you will not regret it uh always super chill streams over there always fascinating topics of discussion and so every time sleepy raids i'm always like yo what weird stuff were you guys talking about tonight and so now now i need to know Oh, you were called Michaels? Yeah, you're all called Michaels. Bellabot, thank you for the follow. The Lasner, thank you also for the follow. Uh, allow me to make sure we get a shout out. A proper shout out. Shout out always. Slightly sleepy with two Y's. Two Y's. Uh, CEO of Ponage, and I love my GF47. That's a very wholesome name. Uh, welcome on in. Welcome on in. Thank you for that follow. That follow. It was a fun stream tonight. Uh, we talked about art versus the artist and dog breeds. Two excellent topics of discussion. Uh, we have been talking about all kinds of stuff here tonight, including... <laughs> Where one draws the line between, you know, virtual murder and virtual uh, enslavement and virtual uh, animal abuse and whether it's okay to capture people in a game, whether that's okay, or whether that's crossing a line and like the fact that, you know, murder is very uh, just commonplace in every game, but then there's lots of things in games that are 
objectively maybe not quite as bad as murder, but that are still very uncomfortable and like are those sorts of things okay? We have no answers, only questions. Naga, thank you so much for gifting a sub to always slightly sleepy, sleepy. Welcome back on in. It is a pleasure to have you in the Potato Pals once again. Once again. Um, and who, who else came out with that raid? Let me make sure we've, we've got... Uh, everybody gets a nice hello. Ah, uh, Feralom, hello, the closer, 424, Destructocon, welcome, Andrew T67, fantastic to see you, welcome, welcome, Dingus Wizard, thanks for joining us, Jo, thank you for the follow, welcome to the stream, um, I've not found Depresso yet, Destructocon, we're literally just starting this character in this game, Green Ninja, good to see you, Carl, welcome on in, um, GWT cosplay, yes, right, yes, you are Michaels, it is true, it is known. The lands are hello, fuzz, come on in, potato of injustice, this is my potato of justice, justice, a villain, or av avalani, perhaps, um, I got everyone. I think I acknowledged everyone. Yes, the usual wholesome topics here, 100%. Uh, Chubper Live says, I've barely tried this game. It's kind of overwhelming. Yeah, there is a lot going on in this game, for sure. For sure. I tried it out for the first time uh, night before last. I made a video with it, which you can find on my YouTube channel if anyone is curious. By the way, hello, I'm Nick. I'm the ASMR nerd. I do ASMR gaming and tech stuff like mechanical keyboard builds and reviews. Just generally nerdy stuff uh, here on Twitch, but also over on YouTube. Exclamation mark YT if you want to check out the YouTube side of things. But it's great to have you all here. Uh, why don't you have a potato near you, Lanzer? Why don't you have a potato near you? Arcade sticks? Uh, that is not something I have ever uh, tried before. Uh, Destructive Con. I, I'm not much of a fighting game guy, so I, I would be out of my depth reviewing an arcade stick. Although I reckon that you could make some nice ASMR with arcade stick reviews or builds. For sure, for sure. Um, anyway, thanks again for the raid, Sleepy. I appreciate you being here so very much. It is always a pleasure to hang out with your Michaels. Your Michaels are delightful group of folks and uh don't feel like you gotta stick around as always you know how this works go take care of yourself and get some sleep if that's what you gotta do but thank you again we appreciate you and y'all please do go follow always slightly sleepy uh here on twitch but also over on youtube hit that sub as well um just jumping back to the YouTube chat. I think I missed a message from Jonathan Thorson ASMR. Jonathan Thorson, wonderful to see you as well. Speaking of other awesome ASMR creators, Jonathan Thorson over on YouTube, some super tingly content. Go check it out as well, friends. Um, Alpha X-Ray says, the survival craft genre is always a bit difficult to get into. It's often overwhelming at the start because there's so much you have to pay attention to so many meters and things for example for example for example uh we've been hanging out here chatting uh but meanwhile a time has been passing in the game and it's almost night time which means that uh pretty soon uh, my character is going to start getting cold um and so before that happens I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna grab some berries really quickly. As well as, what is this? Whoa, what was that? Uh, I leveled up, I guess, by picking some berries. I also picked up a pal sphere. A pal sphere, which is, as one can imagine, kinda like a Pokeball. Kinda like a Pokeball. Um, 
but I just wanted to come over here and grab a few resources before the cold sets in. There we go. Now it's cold and we, we can't build a fire here just yet, so we're going to have to go rely on this lady's fire over here. Also though, I just noticed, look at these little chickpeas. They're sleeping. They're sleeping. Constant says, I've seen some that have keyboard switches, and I'm always interested in those arcade sticks with keyboard switches in them. That's new, or I've never heard of that before, but I can't say it's super surprising. I guess I could see why you would want to do that. That is kind of cool. That's a neat concept. Um, friends, you know what we didn't get to earlier? <laughs> we did not get to beer opening. I have a beer that I want to try here. And it's in the fridge. So I'm going to go grab that beer while we hang out here by this cozy fire and this lady expedition survivor here. And we're just going to get all toasty uh, while I go get a frosty one from the fridge. And we will do the beer opening. Alright? Sounds good. I will be right back. I expect you to behave yourselves while I'm gone. I know I can trust you to do that, right? Just just be cool. I'll be right back. Enjoy the chill vibes. Oh, what's all this? What's all this? Uh, I see fire in the chat. How could you? How could you? I leave for one minute and you burn down the chat. Shame. Shame on you. Naga, handsome dashing princess, Argus Rex. <laughs> How could you? Sargon out there, though. Fighting the good fight. Fighting the good fight. <laughs> We've got Blastoise Squad and Empoleon Squad. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Miso, you're just... If you're breathing on the fire, you're just making it worse. I will say, though, YouTube chat. Well-behaved as always. Well-behaved as always. Not a single flame. Um... Gosh. <laughs> okay, sorry. I had to scroll back a bit because I think I missed. I missed uh, some folks here that just got buried in. I don't know. I think when we hit the the uh, uh, five minutes of gameplay. Shout out to Wang Yan. Wang Yan, great to see you. Welcome. Uh, that fire, I'm glad you saw the message. Thank you for responding. This journey has been a multi-year adventure. Perhaps we will we'll have a conclusion to it sometime soon. Uh, I will reply to your response. Uh, <laughs> maybe we can make this happen. Um, where, where are we at? Thorek. Thorek. Welcome. I saw you in the chat, but I didn't have a time to actually say hi. 
because we got all swept up in there. Thorek is actually curious about Pal World, as are a number of other folks here. So we will try and get a little bit more gameplay actually in here in a moment. Uh, Rango, do potato points claim on their own or do I have to claim them? Uh, you get them slowly over time, but then I think there's also a, a bonus that you can claim. I think is how it works. Pretty sure. Argus wanted to know what happened to the random MTG card potato point reward. Uh, I've disabled it temporarily because I have to go get some more booster packs. I don't have any, <laughs> so I have to pick up some more uh, for you guys to be able to use that reward. That's what the deal is. Um, we can make, somehow, Drake, uh, your quote there, we can make him thick if we want to, we can make him really wide, I really want to sing that to the tune of the safety dance, we can make him thick if we want to, we can make him really wide, if it, but, <laughs> if friends don't dance, and if they don't dance, they ain't no friends of mine, I don't know, that really sounds like it has to go to the tune of the safety dance. Okay. Okay. I think I... I think, hopefully, I didn't miss anyone else's messages. I apologize if I did. Things were a little... a little spicy. Uh, dang, a 15 stream streak, Naga? Now that is impressive. Now that is impressive. Wow, night, Nightbot? Even Clay had the chance to light the YouTube chat on fire and didn't. Amazing. Incredible. Okay. Because if your friends aren't thick and if they don't clap the bait, no friends of mine. Yeah, we'll go with that, Argus. Uh, I have not. Uh, actually, friend of a friend, I have not. But I could pick some up uh, for opening on these streams. I could do that. All right. Um, one day we'll play more of this game, but I do want to open this beer. I've been waiting on this, so let's get that done, and then we'll play some more Pal World. Uh, tonight's beer is this guy. It's called Interior Horizons from Dakrat. Dakrat. Uh, and it is described as a Belgian-style brown ale with cherries. Dakrat is uh, known for their Belgian-style beers. They specialize in Belgian-style beers, and they do a really good job of it. Um, I've never had this one before. It says you're crafted in the Belgian tradition. I don't know what the little TV here has to do with anything, but a little palm tree in it. Brewed in BC. Abbotsford, British Columbia. 6.5% ABV. Unfiltered. I bet you it's real yummy. Um, Shez, Shez Cake Jusu, Shay Cake Jusu. Uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Uh, Clay says, I'm too busy over here playing with my new Velocity Shock Ultra Tournament Edition arcade stick to light up the chat. Again, that sounds believable. I know even less about arcade sticks. It says here, using Belgian yeast, European hops, and a good deal of care and patience, Dakarat brews small batches of balanced, complex beers. Interior Horizons, that's this one. Don't bother looking out the window. We know what's out there. No, look inside. Look deep within yourself and scan the horizon there. Do you see a void that can only be filled by a creamy brown ale full of rich malt and brimming with cherries and estuary Belgian yeast? Now, fill that void. <laughs> I, I can't say that was the first thing I saw when I looked inside, but now, now that they mention it, yeah, I see what they're getting at. I see what they're getting at. So yeah, let's do it. Let's fill that void. Sounds yummy. Matthew Felix, thank you for subscribing on YouTube. I don't know if you're watching, but I appreciate it. Either way, I see organs. <laughs> it's like lots of squishy bits in there. Yo, J.O., thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna 
turn down the volume while I crack this open, and then I will turn it up again for the pour. One moment, friends. I will mute while I adjust my mics. It's time for the pour. Time for the pour. Here we go. Let's make it a good one. Hype. Romulus. Romulus, welcome. You arrived just in time for the pour. This is looking spectacular. It's looking extremely foamy. Delicious. This is what they call, as I've said before on this stream, but this is what they call a rocky head, where you've got that nice foamy head, that's the foam on top, but it's got bubbles of all different sizes, big ones and small ones. It's usually a good sign, a quality beer. Time for your nightly grog. Another crisp pour for the books. I like to think I'm getting pretty good at it. Uh, Romulus, Romulus, thank you for the 37 month resub. Unbelievable. It's a dang long time. Romulus has been around here for an age and uh, has certainly made this place better by chilling with us. Romulus also does have some ASMR over on YouTube. Y'all should check it out. Nightly ASMR. Good stuff. Nightly with a K. A noble knight, kind of like our friend the night bond here. Um, <laughs> that grumble noise that wasn't my stomach, that was the character in the game. I'm pretty sure. I think our character's getting hungry. Um, cheers, friends. What are we cheersing tonight? Let's toast. Let's toast. Let's toast. Um, to looking deep inside, to introspection, that is what this beer is named after all, to scanning your interior horizons and figuring out where you want to go, charting your internal course. Cheers, friends. Oh, that's really good. That's some good stuff. Mm. That is smooth, that is creamy, that is nice and malty, just a little bit toasty, ever so slightly, and um, a little like a sweet, but a tiny bit of tartness on the finish. Very smooth mouthfeel though. That is extremely yummy. That crowd knocks it out of the park again. Those guys are great. All right, I'm going to readjust these mics. And then we will get back to the game. Good stuff. All right. Our bro's just standing there still. Just chilling. Straight chilling. Uh, Norgrill, I missed your blood sugar check uh, like a thousand years ago. Um, I'm going to do that right now. Thank you for keeping an eye on my well-being. Uh, it's a little low, 4.6 and stable, but that's okay. That's okay. As long as it doesn't go down from there. 
Uh, Nath also requested a blood sugar check for me ages ago. Uh, I will uh, use that in just a little bit. Just a little bit. For those who wonder what that's about, it's because I have type 1 diabetes and I have to keep a close eye on my uh, blood glucose levels. And I do that with a sensor that's on the back of my arm and it communicates with my phone uh, via Bluetooth. It's very handy. Helps me make sure that I'm not going to pass out or alternatively that my blood sugar is not screaming high. So, but it's important. Important. What is Pal World? That is indeed the question of the week, isn't it, Romulus? So, Pal World is a survival and crafting game uh, that is also a uh, Pokemon-like, where you capture and battle with all manner of cute and charismatic creatures across this world. But you can also set those creatures to work for you uh, in your base, building structures, gathering resources, that sort of thing. That's all I know about the game so far. But there's probably more to it than that. But that's just my my knowledge. Let's uh oh hold on a second. Let's eat some berries. When I have to press to eat the berries. I forget. Awkward. Uh ba -ba -ba. Hello. Can I please? I really want to eat. It's important. Uh, uh, well, I figured this out when I was playing earlier. It doesn't have, you know what, maybe I'll just mouse and keyboard this. Because, uh, this is getting a little silly. Yes. There we go. Now I'm properly fed. Uh, it has, like, control tips for mouse and keyboard, but not for controllers, so. I might just mouse and keyboard it. Um, Sargon, I'm glad you enjoyed the pour. Argus asks, Nick, have you ever missed poured on stream? Yes, I've definitely spilled on stream before. I also had one disastrous scenario where I knocked over my my pint of beer on stream. Uh, that was especially bad because I managed to knock it all over my microscope, which uh, used to sit beside me here on my desk. So that was, that was a bad time. One of these days you want to hear the cursed ASMR of you messing with the mics unmuted, says Sargon. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just, you know, like taking the mic covers off. Like so. But um, sometimes the problem is there's occasionally like bursts of static uh, because uh, there's a weird... Oh, is that a chickpea I just heard? Oh, it's a chickpea. Oh, they're so cute. There's two of them. So, this is where it gets a little bit sad, you guys. If we want to capture these creatures, technically, technically, we're supposed to get their health down. And to do that requires violence. That's one of the things I like the least about this game. Um... Yeah. You remember that instance, Drake? It was pretty rough. That was pretty rough. But we might have a chance, actually. We might have a shot at capturing these things without bludgeoning them into submission. It just, it means that we're going to have to, um, maybe make a few PAL spheres, which are like Pokeballs a few different PAL spheres in order to uh, actually catch them, because we'll probably fail a few times. 
but okay so they're saying here they're giving us a little tutorial blah 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 um check the survival guide let's do that just to get that off the off the list there of uh, tutorials okay build menu with b and build a primitive workbench so uh in my youtube video i built my workbench down here which is a good spot because there's lots of uh uh, resources there but I think I'm going to build my workbench up here by this fire so that uh, we can work on it at night time uh, when it's cold out so let's let's place the workbench like right there and we'll come over here and we will build the technology screen and unlock the PAL sphere. So each level we gain different techs that we can unlock with tech points. The PAL sphere is a pretty crucial one so let's unlock that. We will eventually need all this other stuff too but for now we will. <laughs> so these are the PALs we've seen so far. The lamb ball, the cativa, the chickpea. Um, and we have some stat points that we can just assign here. One stat point uh, into HP, stamina, attack, work speed, or weight. I always want to be able to carry more loot and crafting gear, you know, um, materials. So let's put it into weight. Uh, so that's looking okay. So now we need to craft a PAL sphere. But in order to craft a PAL sphere, we are going to need a Paldium Fragment and some stone. So both of those can be had from stone outcrops, although there also are Paldium outcrops that you can find. But first, we'll have to punch the stone outcrop for a while with our bare fists in order to get, get started here. This angle always shows off a cake. It shows off just how thick our boy is here. Uh, we got some stone. Did we manage to get any Paldium fragments there? We did not. Oh, but we actually already picked up a Pal Sphere off the ground over there. So that's, that's cool. But we'll still craft another one. Fists of Titanium. Arr. It's like Minecraft Steve ain't got nothing nothing on this. Uh, J.O. says I can unfortunately no longer drink beer the same. My body will immediately punish me for it after stupidly over drinking to a near death type situation. Well, I'm glad that you've been able to rein that in and uh, avoid, you know, harming yourself further. That's really good. Um, and like big respect for being able to do that. Uh, that fire says type one awareness or ed themed video you know I is that something you've suggested before that might be something that others have suggested before as well I had not thought about that for a long time but you know that's a good idea actually that is something I would like to do thank you for re-reminding me about that because it's been a long time since I thought about that and you still have your fingers crossed for a Steam Library Highlights Tour. Can't tell you what. I think I, I think I wrote that down on my list of potential ideas, but let me write down that type one uh, education and awareness video idea, because I don't think I actually had that written down in my current list. I do have a Steam Library Tour on here, but I'm going to put T1B education video. I don't know how many people would be into that, but it's something personally I think would be cool to do. Um, Defy also says, I didn't know how bad I needed scritches until you did that with the mic cover. Oh, you requested them. You requested the scritches with the channel points. Let's do it. I like 
obviously the mic scratching and that sort of thing. The reason I mute the mic more than anything when I'm adjusting them for the beer pour is because the connection between the XLR cable and the microphones themselves is a little wonky and sometimes uh, I get a big burst of static when I adjust them and that is not very relaxing at all so that's why I try to avoid that situation Sargon says, what do you mean you don't want to beat a plushy chicken within inches of its life so you can Stockholm Syndrome it into being your friend? Hey, it's my pal. It's right there in the name, okay? Obviously, they're my pals. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> God, this is so brutal. Just watching him do this makes my fists hurt. Grapple says, remember, after using your pal sphere to remind them how much of a friend you are with your friend Whip, after that, after they know how friendly you are, you can send them to the buddy mines where they can happily work for you. I mean, you just, but that's kind of how this game goes. Kind of how it goes. Yo, Drake. Drake says, I'm going to head out. Good to see you, as always. Thanks for chilling with us, Drake. Thank you for keeping an eye on the chat for us tonight, doing those wonderful moderator things to make sure that we have a safe, happy, warm, and welcoming chat uh, for everyone to enjoy. Can we get a big old thank you for Drake? Just a big round of applause, maybe a big hug for Drake Connors, ASM artist out there, keeping an eye on things. And while we're at it, while we're at it, Clay, the night bot, the human nightbot, not the nightbot nightbot. Uh, similarly, out there, keeping an eye on things uh, in both the YouTube and the Twitch chats. And I know I saw Eyelash Hippo out there earlier as well. I don't know if Eyelash is still lurking, but every single one of our moderators is amazing, and we appreciate them a whole awful lot. A big, huge lot. Ah, look at that. <laughs> Thank you, USS Requin, uh, for the kind words for our amazing mods. And Grapple as well. We love you, mods. We could not do this without you. I could not do this without you. It would not be the same. And they give very generously of their time and energy to make this community a better place for everyone. Nice, we leveled up just by gathering stuff. Uh, Tickspring wants to know what the brand name of my glucose monitor is. Yes, it is the Freestyle Libre 2 from Abbott. Abbott. Freestyle Libre 2. Okay, got some more cativas over there. So, uh, let's craft ourselves a PAL sphere. Um, let's do it. Uh, USS Requin says, uh, no problem, good sir, I came in on the sleepy raid. Hey, well, thank you for lurking, and thank you for coming in with the sleepy raid. I hope you've been enjoying your lurk. Just vibing in the background. Uh, Angel in the YouTube chat says it's 9 a.m. in my country. Good morning. Good morning to you too, Angel. Thanks for joining us so early. Gosh, so loud. Take a pee over there. <laughs> They're so cute. They're so cute. Uh, so we crafted a pal sphere, which we can now acquire. Dark, or Dak Millhouse. Thank you for following. I thought it was Dark Millhouse, and I was like, Spill houses, evil arc. Uh, Angel, I hope that your your morning is going well so far. Um, okay, so we should probably craft a couple other things here. Let's also craft a big.
pickaxe and a stone axe um, and a torch for that matter. We could use all of these. Classic crafting game stuff, you know. I do find it's a little finicky, you gotta press a lot of buttons just to craft a thing and collect it. But and the torch. This will allow us to go around at night time, I believe, uh, without getting cold. So that's nice. And obviously we'll be able to see a little better. Alright, so we've got a few different things here now. I assume the torch has a limited use, so we don't want to overdo that. But what we can do is, just before it goes dark here, let's take our mining pickaxe here and go see if we can get a few more palladium fragments so that we can build a couple more pal spheres, craft a few more pal spheres. And then we have a much better chance at capturing one of those pals without having to actually, like, attack them first. So I really don't want to have to attack them first. It feels bad. I mean, trying to capture them in a little prison, I guess, is really not that much better, but it seems better somehow. It seems less evil somehow. Uh, Requin says, it's been enjoyable. Yeah, I'll be honest, I haven't really been enjoying seeing gameplay of Pal World until I've been chilling here. It's just been cozy. Hey, that's what I love to hear. I'm glad that you like the vibes here. We try to keep things pretty cozy, pretty wholesome, for the most part. For the most part. I'm glad you've been digging it, though. Welcome on in. Oh, we are now getting cold. So let's... There we go. Yeah, so that keeps the cold away. Hey, and thank you for the follow, Requin. Great to have you on board. And I'm sure everyone else here is happy to have you with us. We get a warm stream welcome for Requin here. Just joined us. Uh-oh, I'm scaring off the Kativa. Uh, hey, Johanna, welcome on in. Johanna says, oh, is this the game who like half of my Steam just bought? Yes, this is, this is that game. It is, uh, it's interesting. There's, there's some interesting ideas going on here for sure. Okay, so we can, uh, oh crap, we need more wood for the palace fairs. Okay, all right, well, let's. Let's head back out into the darkness and uh, chop a tree for a little bit. Um, Bolos, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. My oh, goodness, it's very dark out here. Also, we're gonna run out of carrying capacity real quick at this rate. time that happens I freak out for a second because I think of Valheim and I'm worried I'm gonna get squished by a tree trunk but I don't think this game's like that I don't think you get squished by the tree trunks the first time that happened in Valheim it was like oh no but it was pretty fun oh Requin is my pleasure always always happy to hang out with y'all and play some games chat you know Chez Cake and Jusu says, It was awesome stumbling upon your stream. I usually watch your keyboard reviews on YouTube. I bid you good night, good sir. Have a great stream. Hey, yo, Chez Cake, Jusu. Super kind of you to say so. I'm glad you could join us here uh, on Twitch. I do stream on YouTube as well, so if you are more comfortable over there, you can always join in there. I'm glad you enjoy the keyboard reviews, though. It's been a while since I did a keyboard vid. It's definitely time for another one. I've been, I've been craving a good keyboard video. I've definitely got some stuff to do some videos with, so hopefully that'll be coming soon. Uh, sleep well, uh, Cheskek Jesu. Have a great start to your week, and I hope we get to see you again sometime soon. Take care. Oh, 
Oh, Red Sphere. It is Hype Train Conductor Extraordinaire. Red Sphere. Uh, Red Sphere, how are you doing? Red Sphere says, I've done unspeakable things in this game. You know, somehow I'm, I'm unsurprised. I don't know. I'm not sure why I'm unsurprised, but... Uh, I guess I'm not going to find out what those things are then, if they are unspeakable. They cannot be spoken about. Alright, let's do another one. Just trying to make sure that we'll have enough to hopefully catch something. We're just going to have to waste a few of these, probably. But I really don't feel like bludgeoning one of these little pals into submission, so we're just going to throw little prisons at it until we catch it. Uh, Requin says, my girl just pointed out that you have Hu Tao's little ghosty in the back. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I totally have a Boo Tao in the background. I got I got Boo Tao for Christmas. My fiance got I got it for me. Hu Tao was my first five star Genshin character and is still one of my favorites. You notice the Pokemon, but not that yes I have. I have Eevee over here. I have Pikachu. I have another sleepy Pikachu back here. Magikarp and a and a Dragonite back there. Uh Bulbasaur, you can't see it, but here, let me switch it up. Uh, I've got Bulbasaur, Togepi, I've got Pachimari from Overwatch hiding in between them right there. And I've got Pikachu right over there. Uh, I've got a little Mew right there. I also got that Mew for Christmas this year. <laughs> but yes, and and I've got the Dragonborn helmet on top of Butao. Butao Dragonborn. <laughs> Red Spear says, oh, what? I am a wholesome and innocent person. How dare you have this warped perception of me? It's true, you know, you are a very wholesome person. But I just, I don't know. I don't know, Red Spear. It's just, sometimes I get this feeling. <laughs> sometimes I get this feeling. Um, uh, how many, how many pals have you worked to death in this game, Red Spear? I do have quite a few plushies back there. Most of them, most of them are from my fiance. She really likes plushies. She has quite the collection of squishmallows. Quite the collection of squishmallows. Let me tell you. You will wound me, sir. I'm sorry, Red Spear. How could I? How could I? All right. I think the sun's coming up, friends. I think we have survived another night. And it's definitely time for us to go catch some pals for reels this time. For reels. Um, Bolos, congratulations on your three stream streak. I appreciate you coming out to three streams in a row. And many more before that, no doubt. Worked to death? None of them, okay. Worked to disappearing? I can't count that high. No, is that what happens to them? I don't know. I haven't got that far where I've driven them insane. How many squishmallows? Um, gosh, just um, an estimate. I would say, I don't know, like 20, 25, maybe, probably more. Well, no, maybe like 20 to 25, we'll say. I, I guess that's not like an outrageous amount, but it is still quite a few to have sitting in the bedroom there. Although it is not as many as I have keyboards. I have more keyboards than she has squishmallows, for sure. So I guess I can't talk. Yo, what's up, MKF? Good to see you. Uh, great raid the other night. Oh, B Busy Bunny. Yeah, Busy great. Forgot her name. Yeah, she's super nice. Yeah, Busy is Busy is an amazing streamer. She's super friendly. Her community is fantastic. And she's super tingly. Uh, yeah, Busy is excellent. One of my favorite streamers here on Twitch. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm KF. Uh, Sarah and I got engaged not this past New Year's, but last New Year's. 
yeah, we're getting married later this year, so we're in the thick of uh, doing the wedding planning stuff. It's coming together. It's coming together. Bit by bit. Alright. Okay. Let's actually go catch something. Where did all the pals go? There were tons of them around here. All left. It's like they knew. Ah, there we go. A chickpea. Level one, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna try catch it. Thirteen percent. Oh, that stinks. What if I sneak around behind it? Can I do that? Is there such a thing as sneaking? Oh, thirty-three percent chance. For... Okay, that's a back bonus. They say. Crap. Oh no. Oh man. Oh, the other chickpea's mad now. Oh man. Eh. Oh, that did not work at all. Yikes. Uh, well, I didn't plan this very well. Okay, I think the plan here is to. Yo, what is this? Dinosome? That thing's rad. It's way too high level for us, though. I'm gonna try and run away from this chickpea so that I can get that uh, attack from behind bonus again. Um, Maga says, Hey, I'll say the game looks pretty at a bare minimum. Yeah, it's I think it's on Unreal Engine, so yeah, it's got some some nice graphics going on. Rice Pierce says, nah, I just pull a good old fashioned get in the car when they don't want to work anymore. I also have a habit of picking the least productive pal in the workforce and uh let's say repurposing them. Brutal. <laughs> Brutal. Yes, I know I'm supposed to beat them up before I try to capture them, but I, I'm trying not to. I'm trying to see if I can do this without beating them up first. I, I, I just, I feel bad beating them up, but I don't want to have to. So instead, I'm just going to try and kidnap them in a little prison. Red Spear saying things he can't take back over in the YouTube chat. I won't say it out loud though. I won't say it out loud. Dickspring says, is it sad that I've used a Logitech G510 for a long time? Not at all. It's become a part of you. If it's what you prefer, if you love that keyboard, then, then that's great. It's whatever makes you happy. Hmm. I'm not sure where that chickpea I was trying to capture has gone. Not sure. Maybe it's over here. Hmm, maybe not. Okay, well, anyway, let's try one of these guys. 29%. Oh, it's because they're level 2. Versus level one. Okay, well, this Cativa is level one. Why don't we try for that? Why are they so run, runny, running away? I kind of want to try for that level one GKP I saw before, though. I know it doesn't really matter, but I definitely have a better chance of catching them without bludgeoning them to death or to near death if. I go for the lower level ones. Uh, but the thought of a mechanical keyboard does intrigue you to spring well. There's a whole world of mechanical keyboards out there. It's quite extensive and they are really nice. So if you're looking to finally move on from your 
in G110 there. Uh, there are plenty of very cool options. Okay, well, I don't know, I'm not seeing any more level 1 guys around. These are all like level 2, level 3 land balls. Alright, we'll try for one of those level 2 chickpeas maybe. Raspberry says, I feel bad for beating them up. Meanwhile, me over here hiding my Geneva checklist in this game. <laughs> I just, I just, I don't want to have to hit them to make them my friend. That doesn't seem right. You know, how do you sneak? Is there a, is there a crouch toggle? Is there a sneak in this game? Nope, that's not sneaky at all. I could try and get that level one cat if up, but they run away so quick. Yeah. Maybe I can get it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Got it. At a glance, it appears full of confidence, but it is in fact weak and cowardly. Being toyed with by a Katifa is in many ways the greatest of disgraces. <laughs> it's the Paldex entry. What do they call it? It's not Paldex. It's a Paldex. Pardon me. We've got our first pal, y'all. And we didn't even have to beat it up. Oh, we can sneak with C. Okay, perfect. Dab Fire says Nick is a better person than the rest of us will ever be. And I proceed to bop chicken upside the head. <laughs> I mean, I get it. It's a mechanic. You're supposed to, you know, bludgeon them first <laughs> and then catch them. It's really not that different than what you do in Pokemon. But still, I just, I don't know. It somehow feels more brutal when it's you wielding. Oh, yeah, there's the dinosaur that we saw. When it's you wielding the bat instead of throwing your little monster at it. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some more carry capacity. Uh, so, yeah, we have our first pal. Um, wait, didn't I already do this? No, I didn't click. Okay, there we go. Um, Kataba here at full health, because we didn't have to attack it at all has Cat Helper. While in team, Cativa helps carry supplies, increasing the player's max carrying capacity. That is awesome. Uh, MKF says, uh, yeah, busy, busy, spelled B-I-Z-Z-Y-B-U-N-N-Y-Y -Z -Y -Y is Busy Bunny. That's who we rated last time. I can shout her out in the, uh, Twitch chat, but not in the YouTube chat. But I can do it over here on Twitch. Busy but bunny. I think that's correct. Did I get that right? Yes. There we go. Uh, so you can follow from there if you didn't. I managed to follow on last raid. Um, MKF says, should be fun. My two close friends got married within the past 10 years. Uh, I was an usher of both, um, and they're definitely fun. Yeah, I've had some some good close friends getting married over the last couple of years. Uh, got to be part of a couple of wedding parties. That was nice, and uh, yeah, it's always a good time. It's always a good time. Uh, so we're looking looking forward to having our chance to do it. But uh, it is a lot of planning and somewhat stressful. <laughs> You know, it's a lot of money if you're doing a bigger wedding, too. But uh, we're trying to have fun with it. So our Katiba here is a neutral type. Presumably that means like a normal type kind of Pokemon. Uh, that knows Punch Flurry, Katiba's special skill. Pursues enemies, repeatedly punching them with both fists. <laughs> Just... That's certainly what I think of when I think of a cat. I think of getting punched with a fist. It has a passive skill, which is coward. Attack is lowered by 10%, but a motivational leader. Oh, 
increases player speed by 25%. That's rad. Also, uh, level one at handiwork, transporting, gathering, and mining. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's all really, really good stuff. And the player speed increase is fantastic. That's huge. I love how they have these passive abilities that help you out. That's great. A sneak is C. Okay, oh yeah, the great. Excellent. Spicy McJewels, what's up? Welcome on in. Spicy McJewels has just stumbled upon your stream and already a huge fan. Hey, thank you. That's really kind of you to say. You seem like such a genuine and wholesome person. Aw, oh, thanks. Great sounds, very comfy, cozy atmosphere. And congrats on the occasion of the upcoming wedding. Yo, that's all really, really kind of you. It's really great to have you with us, Spicy McJewels. Welcome on in. Uh, I've uh, got the YouTube uh, stream going on here, but if it's a little quiet for your liking there, uh, I've also got the, the Twitch stream going on. There's a bunch of people hanging out in chat there, so you are welcome to hang out. Join us wherever you are most comfortable. But hey, Red Spears over there on YouTube. Uh, thanks again for the, the kind words and welcome on in. We've got some really nice people here. We've got a pretty rad community. The cat tells the player to work harder. That's right. That's right. Isn't that what cats usually do? Work harder, my slave. So that you might get me better food. Okay, well now that we've got a pal, we can now use that pal to battle other pals. And that will make them much easier to catch. Um, but what we should maybe go do is get a few more Paldium Fragments. So that we can make some more Pal Spheres. And I do believe that there are of deposits of Paldium down here that we can mine. Red Spear says uh, every individual pal has different traits too, so you can acquire new ones <laughs> acquire uh, for different traits for your union of friendship. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. I want to have more more pal friends. We can do more things. Uh, so I think the ability buffs, I would guess, will stack. Oh yeah, right, we have there's some stuff down here. Uh, Castaway's Journal Day 2. A little bit of lore stuff. And uh, oh, we got some gold coins and three pal spheres in that chest. That's rad. Um, I think the abilities or the buffs will stack for as long as, or as many as you can carry in your party, right? Because I think you can have like up to six in your active party or something like that. I don't know if it's actually six. That's just Pokemon, but. Red Spear says you can't escape me, Nick, no matter what platform you're on. I never want to escape you, Red Spear. Oh, <laughs> Unless I was a pal in this game, then I might want to escape you. Quite possibly. Okay, so I feel like we need to find another level one creature to try and catch. Because I'm concerned that my level one Kativa is going to get wrecked by any other creature out here. <laughs> there is another level one Kativa down there. Making kind of cute noises. But I don't really want another Kativa right now. I kind of want more of other stuff. I want to get some new creatures. Okay, well, we have definitely, uh, Got a bunch more Paldium, so let's 
Go make some more PAL spheres. We might need a little bit more wood for that. Naga says, I too found this lovely place by wandering in. Long ago, Naga, long ago. Oh, hey, there's level one lamb ball. Perfect. Red Spear says you can deploy the pal with E, but while it's deployed, it'll drain its hunger bar. So you need to feed it to keep its stats up. Got it. Uh, when it's deployed, what does that do for me? tends to end with this pal tumbling back down. This causes it to become dizzy and unable to move, making it easy to capture and kill. <gasps> As a result, this pal something, something, something. Uh, CEO D says, frankly, I'm trying to find a way to run the game in potato mode. I suspect making it eternal night and lowering the spawn rates might help. Uh, is, it, is it pretty taxing on your PC? That fire says, I've decided I need therapy. I'd have bopped a living lemon pepper right out of the rambunctious little chicken and named it KFC to remind me. I have options. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's beautiful, but also so brutal. Can you name your, your pals? I shouldn't, I, I assume you can could nickname them but oh I see so we don't get the perks unless it's deployed so you only get the perks of your actively deployed so for example the um, uh, the move speed bonus am I only going to get that when my captive out is deployed I want a chickpea, but I'm just worried that if I attack a level three chickpea with my level one Kativa, it's gonna it's gonna rock us. So I'm kind of looking for a level one chickpea here. Uh, let's make some more pal balls. Eh? Uh, I should take a look at the, in the top right there it says. Unlock the pal box. Okay. Right, that's this thing, right? Yes, okay. Uh, we've got a bunch of new stuff because we're level four now. We've got so many technology points. It's crazy. Um, and in the pal deck, I guess, having caught the lamb ball, we can now learn more about it. As a result, this pal has tumbled down to the very bottom of the food chain itself. <sighs> brutal. Brutal. Oh, I'm getting helped. You can see I'm getting helped by my, my little pal there. Optimizations will eventually happen, but I like seeing how scuffed the game can get. Yeah, I'm sure it will eventually run a lot better. Uh, you know, it's still early access, right? Yes, I, I someone earlier was asking about the RAM situation. Uh, I can tell you right now, for anyone curious, it is using... How uh, much RAM? Not an unreasonable amount, like four gigs of RAM currently. That doesn't seem too bad. That seems totally within reason. You can see the perk, the center bot. Oh, okay. That so, I 
think I, I saw it a second ago, but I, oh, there it is, Cat Helper. Yeah, okay. And what what is Cat Helper again? If we go to the party. Oh, I see. Increases the carrying capacity. Got it, got it, got it, got it. So with Cat if I'm out, I have carrying capacity 450, it looks like. What if I bring it back? What does my carrying capacity go to? Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Still 450. Interestingly enough. Oh, hey, these berries grow back. That's great to know. That's really good to know. Okay, I really do want to catch a chickpea. Uh, and then maybe we can start thinking about building out our base a little bit. This cat is just running away. It's a level one lamb ball, but we've already got a lamb ball. I really just want to find a level one chickpea right there, right on cue. Okay, let's sneak. Sneak. Actually, I don't think the chickpea cares. But let's. Okay. Let's throw our cativa. Can you swipe at it? Wait, how do I convince it to. There we go. No? You're not gonna attack it? Okay. Well then we're just gonna we're just gonna throw one of these and hope it catches it. If not Wow, we got lucky. Extremely weak and far too delicious is one of the weakest pals alongside Lamball. No matter how many are hunted, they just keep appearing. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. You'll receive a lot of XP for capturing a new type of pal. Search for new pals as you continue your adventure. Okay, let's get back to the fire here because it's getting dark. Let's go. Hey, it's Cozy Char ASMR over on YouTube. Cozy Char, welcome on in. How are you? What's new with you? Cozy Char says, always enjoy waking up to an extreme on a Monday morning. Hey, good morning. I hope your Monday is going great so far. Uh, this is the first time seeing a pal world. These cat creatures are adorable. <laughs> so that's the thing about this game, is all the creatures are adorable, but you can do terrible things to them. And I'm trying to do the least amount of terrible stuff to them here as possible. I'm trying to do this. This is an ethical pal world playthrough. <laughs> I'm trying to not like bludgeon any of them into submission uh, and when it comes time to use my pals to help me build my base up I'm gonna try and make sure they're all happy and sane and well looked after um, that's, that's the hope anyway <laughs> embrace the dark side do it no I I shall not I shall not uh, so far, so far, Cozy Char, we have got, uh, where's our party? We've got Cativa, we've got Lambo, which has a fluffy shield when activated, equips to the player, becomes a shield. Sometimes drops wool when assigned to ranch. Okay, well we don't have a ranch. And Chickpea, sometimes lays uh, eggs when assigned to ranch. This game's in early access still, so it's a little rough around the edges. <laughs> Execute Order 66. By the way, shout out to Cozy Short ASMR. All of y'all here, I know you like that, that ASMR. I know you like that gaming. I know you like the two of them together or else you wouldn't be here. 
So go check out Cozy Short ASMR over on YouTube. She has some fantastic, super tingly, lovely, and relaxing gaming ASMR videos over there. Lots of really good content. What's ASMR? Says Red Spear. And Buttspot says, What's a Butts ASMR? I'm sure you can find some Butts ASMR if you look around as well. You're going to have to go to my OnlyFans for that. Um, hey, it's Saura. Hey, Saura. How are you? Everyone is playing Power World right now. The inevitability of Power World is real. Have you tried it yet, Sal? <laughs> oh, Thorik says, all right, I gotta head to bed. Have a great stream, everyone. Hey, thanks for chilling with us, Thorik. Always a pleasure. Sorry I didn't see you there right away. I kinda, <laughs> well, I did see you. I just didn't acknowledge you right away. <laughs> but, uh, Thorik says, glad I could finally see some of the gameplay. Basically a fascinating but tonally dissonant, dissonant Pokemon. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Take the cute stuff, mash it with the horrific stuff, and you've got animal abuse. Um, but there is more to it that we haven't got into yet, like a whole base building component and assigning your pals to do different tasks around your base and stuff. So, I don't know. I'm going to try and do it as ethically as possible. As ethically as possible. MKF says, oh, I read about this game. I've seen some say Pokemon ripoff. I mean, it definitely is inspired by and borrows liberally from the monster catching and battling of Pokemon, but I feel like what they're doing around that is different enough that it doesn't feel like a like a blatant ripoff. But again, I've not played that much of it yet, so it's kind of hard to hard to say. Cozy Char says, oh no, maybe they'll bring a non-violent mode after it leaves early access. That would be nice. I mean, Pokemon itself is pretty violent when you think about it. It just doesn't seem so violent. But, like, when you actually think about what you're doing. <laughs> but it's okay, they want to fight in Pokemon. So that's, that's fine. Whereas, I feel this is a lot more coercive. Ooh, oh, that's a cat who was sleeping over there. Gosh, there's a big landmass out there, eh? It's like a giant tree over there, some weird towers in the distance. I don't know what they do. I don't know what any of it does. I wonder if we can get some clothes for our dude. We should check the check the tech tree here. Technology. He's a, I don't know. He's just looking pretty naked. Um Oh, there we go. Check it out. Cloth outfit, which requires us to craft cloth. Protects from the cold at night. That sounds great. Uh, sorry, you want to name our chickpea nugget? <laughs> if we can, if we can, we will. If we can, we will. Uh, Sal says I played for a few hours yesterday. I was going to get it, but my friend gave it to me for free. Yo. Oh, you weren't going to get it. Oh, but then you got coerced into it. But have you been enjoying it is the question. Uh, it's, it's, yeah, I, I think there's something really compelling here. I'm still learning the ropes, but so far so good for sure. Oh, thank you for the lurk. And y'all should go follow Sal. I'm not supposed to say that. I'm not, we're not supposed to acknowledge it. I'm not supposed to acknowledge her presence, but she's a great streamer. You like that ASMR? Definitely go follow us out here on Twitch. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, what was I talking about? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Deckley, what's up? How you doing? Good morning to you, Deckley. Good morning to you. Yes, it definitely has some very Breath of the Wild-like sound design. You are correct about that. 
Okay, we should probably research wooden chests. That sounds very useful. Uh, a bed, probably very useful. Cloth and an outfit. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff here. Like base building stuff. A hanging trap? What do you think that does? What are we hanging? Uh, Red Speech says the game is more like Ark Survival Evolved with Pokemon elements, honestly. Yeah. I mean, clearly it borrows from a lot of different things aesthetically and, you know, thematically, but yes. Yeah, the Ark Survival Evolved comparisons seem quite apt in that you are obtaining creatures to help you with your survival and crafting stuff. Um, uh, Red Spear says towers are the boss fights. Okay. Okay. Uh, the hanging trap is a snare that hangs cock pals upside down for harvesting. Harvesting. Uh, all right. Uh, Cody, welcome. <laughs> I don't know if I can help with that, but welcome. You're welcome to hang out here and chill with us. Absolutely. Okay, uh, oh no, why do we have chickpea poultry? Where did we get the chickpea poultry? I'm pretty sure we haven't murdered any chickpea. Okay, uh, but what, okay, build a pal box and open space the surrounding area will become your base. Okay, Red Spear, where should I build my base around here? We're right at the very starting spot, so it doesn't make sense for me to, uh, uh, build it somewhere close by, or should I go a little further afield? Is it easy to move your base once you've placed it? Can my creatures, my pals, only gather the stuff that's within the radius of the base. How does that work? <laughs> I always appreciate a good laugh, Cody. Uh, thanks for chilling with us. You want open space, nothing too easy, or not too easy to move it. Pals only operate within base radius. Okay, if you catch a pal, you also get loot drops. It would give you as if you had killed it. Okay. So my chickpea just dropped a leg when I caught it, but it grew it back. It's okay. It's okay. Yo, what's up, pigeon? Uh, in my YouTube video, I built my base right here. This seemed like a reasonable spot, given that it has, you know, rocks and trees and a big open space. Is this a fine spot, or should I be looking somewhere else? Only Iced Kit Cat says you want open space and to be near ore. Okay, so let's go look. Let's go look a little further afield then. So I, I don't think this counts, right? This is just stone. But like, what about over there? There's a big chunk of ore. What about that? Or what about like down here, right? This looks open end. It's got some fresh resources. Oh, this looks like a great spot. For now. It's just a fine spot up there. What about this one though? This looks good. Why don't we try here? Do it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, pal box. Mm. Does it show you the radius? No, it doesn't. Too bad. Let's just put it like right there. Let's hope that's enough. Oops. Uh, Right. 
So we've now got a base. Um, it says you just leveled up open inventory with tab and strength in your stats. I think we already have, but what should I be dumping my my points into here? I've been putting some into weight, but I don't know if that's what I really want. Curly Tyler, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Great to have you with us. Cody says, also, I just want to say, uh, I was just looking at your channel to pick out a video to pass out to. I noticed you were live. I wanted to check it out. Hey, well, thanks for dropping on in. Uh, and I hope you also find a video to fall asleep to, if the stream isn't what you're looking for. But I appreciate you dropping into the chat. Hopefully we see you again sometime. If you're headed to bed, sleep well, Cody. Have a good one. Hope you wake up feeling refreshed. Um, stamina seems maybe worthwhile. Why don't we do stamina? Okay. Oh yeah, right. If I deploy Kativa, it'll build things with me. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. What's up, Dot Hacker? So how do I assign my, okay, access the pal box and summon a pal to your base. It says base info pals. Okay, we have one pal here. Pal box management menu. Pal who's at the base. Do I like click and drag? Which one of these would be good to have here? What if we leave our chickpea here? Does Chickpea do? I don't even know. Work speed 70, defense 54. Attack. Work speed 70. Okay, they're all the same work speed. Yeah, this it's got some pretty nice graphics. Thought hack. You ain't wrong. Okay, well, we've got a Chickpea now chilling with us. Pals without beds will get stressed. Okay, fine. I guess I build, better build a, a pal bed for our chickpea here. Also, it occurs to me. Uh, okay. I should probably build a work. Wait. Can't. Too close to another facility? Oh, I see. Okay. Let's do this. So we don't have to keep going back up to our, our other one there. And then... Uh, we have to research the pal bed. Uh, technology, straw pal bed, yes. Wood and fiber, I'm not sure where we got the fiber from, but you know, that's okay. Uh, B, straw pal bed, uh, right there. Nice, let's build it. Cody said, my personal favorite videos right now of yours is wandering through Cyrodiil and Morrowind. Nice. Classics. I think you should do some more Elder Scrolls Oblivion videos. I was thinking about that just the other day. The reason I stopped doing those was because my mod, like my modded game stopped working. At one point it just completely stopped loading. Uh, like it won't even start anymore. And I don't know why I didn't change anything. But yeah, that's why I I haven't done more of those. Uh, oh, insufficient materials. We need more wood. Okay. Let's go chop a tree. And, uh, but I would like to do more. Uh, next year, 2025, Sky Oblivion is supposed to come out. Uh, so hype for Sky Oblivion. God, that scares the crap out of me. Oh, this is the edge of my base. I see. Okay, so the perimeter is like all the way around here. That's actually pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with it. Wait, who is this? Who the heck are you? Who the heck are you? A wandering merchant. Welcome. I've got some good items in stock. What have you got? Pal spheres. Arrows, medical supplies, berry seeds, wheat seeds. Ooh, electric organ, venom gland, flame organ. 
I do not know if any of these are worth buying, so we'll probably just pass on it for now, but thanks, bruh. You can capture merchants and pal balls and keep them. That seems... That seems wrong. That seems like something I should not do. <laughs> what? What is... It doesn't give me a percentage likelihood of capturing this this merchant. Is it just any old pal ball will do it? I was just trying to figure out what the radius on my base here was. Okay, it goes up here. Oh yeah, and then all the way down there. Okay, yeah, I feel like I built that in a pretty good spot for starting anyway. Okay, what was I gonna do? I was gonna build a chest. That's what I was gonna do. Wooden chest. Let's place it right by our crafting table. Can I stick it? No, okay. Put it on this side. Get the feed box to actually feed your pals. Okay, where's the feed box? Uh, technology feed box. Feed box, okay, alright. Place food and pals at the base, we'll eat from it. Okay. Also, I want to. Oh, hey. Wandering merchants just chilling with us. Let's craft two cloth. Oh, I can only make one. Oh, each one takes two wool, and I only have two wool. Okay, well. I just want to make myself some clothes, you know. If I go capture some more of the, the wool, uh, what the heck are they? The lamb balls. I'll probably get some more wool, right? Uh, okay, where's that f the feeder? How do I place the feeder? Our feed box. We need more wood. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Yo, question. I should probably place a fire before night falls, huh? Is the fire, like, infinite once I've placed it? Or do I have to keep placing new ones? I will not embrace the power of the dark side. You assign pals to a job by literally picking it up and yeeting it at the job you want it to do. Pals have different abilities, so I can't all do the same jobs. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Feed box. There. You caught the poke dude and just breed chicken piece to sell constantly that sounds evil <laughs> i mean i don't do anything unethical in this game fire is infinite and you can cook food over it okay that's great okay in that case i'm gonna place a fire place right here oh we're hungry okay let's uh eat some berries okay uh have i researched the fireplace yet somewhere that is going to keep me warm when I'm like crafting and stuff. Okay, that seems like a good enough spot, I guess. Yo, what's up, bud? Hopefully that's enough to like keep all those areas around here warm. Yeah, I'm really at that fireplace. Start asking this chat if fire was about fire. Can I light myself on fire by standing in the fire? an important thing to know. Okay, this is getting cozy, you guys. What the heck is this over here? Something glowy over this way. Mission complete. Pal box upgrade is available. Yo, can I swim? If I jump in the water here, am I... Okay. Indeed, I can swim. Cody says mods try not to lobotomize the or yeah try not to lobotomize creation engine challenge impossible true enough though straight up uh, only as KitKat says everything in storage in your base can be used as if it's on your person as well that is rad so that's whatever is stored in a chest for example within the base uh, radius that's really good to know 
All right, Cody, sleep well. Thanks again for dropping in. I hope we see you again sometime soon. I stream Thursdays and Sundays, usually, like in the evening Pacific time, so maybe we'll see you again sometime. Take care. Cody says goodnight Twitch chat. <laughs> I know y'all can't see, but... Uh, Cody wishes you all a good night. A lift monk effigy? What the heck is that? What the heck is that? Collect and offer to a statue of power to improve your ability to capture pals. Okay. Alright. I see what's going on here. Evening. What up for you? Well, I usually start around 9.30. Uh, but yes, you're right. It is getting a little late. And I should wrap this up soon because I got work in the morning. Tragically. I just picked up a small pal soul. I don't know why there was a soul of a creature just hanging out on the ground. Probably dark reasons. 4.03 a.m. gang, right, Spear? Who else is in the 4.03 a.m. gang, y'all? Eastern time represent. also burn pals by hitting them with a torch? No. No, I... I mean, you can, but I shall not. I shall not. <laughs> um, it says here, build up your base until it reaches all seven. I don't know how to do that. Uh, missions. Okay, I've done those. Oh, I see. Base upgrade. Nice. I have to build a shoddy bed for the next step. But this is kind of cozy, you know? Okay, let's go catch a lamb ball and let's, let's get some clothes for ourselves. <laughs> That's what I want to do most, most of all here. Okay, if I, if I throw my... Okay, how do I make it attack? Oh, it just gathered some wood. That's great. But I want it to attack the lamb ball so that I can capture the lamb ball more easily. That's what I want to know about. Well, let's just try. One of them. Ah, rats. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, it murdered it. Oh no. Wait, no. What is even happening? Okay, I caught that one. Oh my god, all hell is breaking loose. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. I think we. Yo, Kativa, thank you for gathering. We, uh, we've got a. Very. Fainted looking lamb ball. <laughs> <laughs> you're right if we just move him into the bed he'll be fine right he'll be fine here come come lay in the bed <laughs> here just no 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 over here over here uh not in the fire not the fire the bed okay well sure you do you you do you um, punch the lamb ball. I didn't want. I didn't want to punch the lamb ball. The lamb ball's death is on your hands. It is not. It is not. I refuse to believe. This corpse. It's not. It's not his corpse. Look at. It. He's totally alive. He's fine. He's fine. Look at. Check it out. He looks totally fine. Yo, what's up? It's Plushies over on YouTube. Plushies, how you doing? Plushie uh, says, I'm in the, I fell asleep at the beginning of the stream and now my sleep schedule is ruined, gang. I'm sorry. You're, that, that is on my hands. I will, I will admit that. Cody says, oh, I just realized this is a game where you can give a Pokemon an AK-47. Straight up, straight up it is. Uh, sleep well again, Cody. Take care. We'll see you next time. Um, but I think with all that 
that murder going on. I mean, whatever that was, we can uh, make ourselves some more wool. And then, yo, what, what you doing there? Oh, it was helping me out. And then, I think, we can make ourselves some clothes. Let's do it. Thanks for your help, Kadiva. It's trying. It's trying its best. <laughs> nice. Good stuff. Kadiva. Level up. Sweet. Level three. Okay. I really wish this lamp ball would just go away. <laughs> just instead of sitting here reminding me of its gruesome fate. Uh, okay, we've got some berries in the feed box. That's good. Oh no, we've got steaks. And Dakley says, your stream starts at 7 a.m. here and I love it. It's not too late and I can watch and sleep an extra two hours. I mean, I'm glad it works with your schedule. That's fantastic. Uh, Raspberry says, you can also weaponize cannibalism. Of course you can. But I wouldn't know anything about that. I mean, we have been known to indulge in the cannibalism in our Skyrim playthrough here. Yo, where's the merchant running off to? He's just straight booking it. Yo, what's up? I pet la loud dog. I pet the loud dog. Welcome to the YouTube chat. <laughs> I'm gonna play ethically also kicks a dead pal around like a soccer ball. He's not dead. He's just sleeping. Look at him. He's clearly sleeping or something. He's still moving. You know, he's still moving. I'm just trying to put him into the bed so we can get all better again. All better again. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. <laughs> you know you want to go in the bed. No, not the fire. Not the fire. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm hot. Oh, gosh, I'm on fire. Oh, God, I'm on fire. Help. 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 Oh, God. Okay, um, well, I guess I learned an important lesson. You can light yourself on fire. Uh, yeah, well, this guy can just hang out there. That's fine. That's fine. What's this? Berry seeds. Oh, yeah. Man, Kataba's just working hard, eh? Uh, do we need another bed? For Kativa, potentially. Lamp all PTSD. I mean, you know. He does look pretty content with his fate, doesn't he? I bet Lad Dog says working from home. Sad my football team lost. While well, we had some folks here who were excited about their football team winning earlier, so. I'm sorry, yours lost. I guess them's the breaks. Someone's gotta win, someone's gotta lose. Uh, you're gonna start Nier Automata. I've never played any of the Nier games, but I've always been kind of intrigued. Kind of intrigued. His eyes aren't an X, so clearly he's still alive. Exactly. Look at him. He's fine. He's fine. Totally fine. Just chilling. Required kindling? Oh, I see. To make food, maybe? Uh, Sargon, thank you for the hydration. My uh, non-alcoholic hydration of choice tonight is my Zevia grape. Zevia grape. I mean, so far I've been able to play largely violence-free. I mean, I'm letting my cat, if I come on back, you can relax for a bit. I'm letting my, you know, creatures, my, my pals, perpetrate the violence for me. But that's really no different than Pokemon, right? Right? Um, and, uh, 
I don't know how long that's going to be sustainable. I feel like at some point you probably have to start doing terrible things to the pals. But I hope not. I hope not. We're going to find out because I've had enough fun with this. I do think I'm going to stream it again uh, at some point in the not too distant future. So uh, we will continue our ethical uh, pal world playthrough. Um, either here on stream or maybe in a YouTube video in future. We'll see. We will see. But for now, my friends, for now, I think it's time to wrap this up. I'm just going to turn so I can't see. I can't see the sleeping lamb ball. Uh, <laughs> we're just going to hang out like this. Just like this. Yo, Stonker. Stonker. Welcome back for another month. How you doing, Stonker? Oh, she could be sleeping. That's adorable. Check it out. That's the cutest dang thing. Uh, Stalker, thank you for another month of super kind support. You've arrived just in time for the end of the stream. Unless you were here earlier. Maybe you were. And you only just resobbed now. That's possible. But uh, I am going to wrap things up here because... That work in the morning. That work in the morning. I've got more or less a regular 9 to 5 these days, so... Yeah. <laughs> the hydration was to help put out the fire. Thank you, Sargon. I do appreciate it. Red Spear says, Night is the best time to make friends with pals. They don't see you coming and take extra damage from surprise. <laughs> but why would I want to damage my friends? Also, Nate, I don't know if you're still there. I'm going to use your blood sugar check request now. Thank you for that. Three hours ago. And the good news is, I've been stable. 4.7. It's been very stable for quite some time now. So, thank you for that. Goodness me. Uh, hey, I appreciate you catching the end of the stream, Stalker. Hopefully, we'll see you next time. Hopefully, we'll see you all next time. I should be streaming this Thursday. I believe I will be streaming on Thursday. Although, as has been the case for the last little while, Thursdays are a little flexible, but I'll let you all know through the usual channels. So that'll be the Discord, my Twitter, uh, or the YouTube community page, uh, whether I'll be streaming on Thursday. But the plan as of right now is yes. So hopefully I'll see you all then. And if you want more ASMR Nerdy Pal World, you can go check out the YouTube channel for my very first experience with this game where I knew literally nothing, went in pretty much blind, and fumbled my way around the very beginning part of the game, even more fumbly than you saw here tonight. But if you want more of that, that's over on the YouTube channel, along with hundreds of other videos, as you are probably aware, uh, of all kinds of stuff. Before we wrap it up, friends, it is time to go raid. We were the very lucky recipients of an awesome raid from Always Slightly Sleepy and her Michaels today. Uh, and uh, we definitely want to take these good vibes and go visit someone else with them. Make sure to pass on the good vibes. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Streaming right now. Who is streaming? ASMR and not rerunning. That's a rerun. That's not ASMR. That's a rerun, 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 rerun. Pisces is live, but Pisces usually has raids turned off around this time of night. We will try once more. We'll try once more. One day we'll get a Pisces raid in. No, raids are off for Pisces. That's okay. Um, one day though let's see if georgie is live or is accepting raids uh because georgie one is fantastic all right looks like we're good for a georgie one raid another one of my very favorite asmr streamers here on twitch georgie one super tingly really nice awesome community you couldn't ask for more she's got some fantastic sounds over there so Join us. Um, 
Oh, sorry, Dot Hacker. You said, wait a sec. No worries. I apologize. I missed what you were, or I missed uh, your request there. Were you going to suggest someone to raid? Because perhaps we can raid them next time. I can follow them in the meantime. Feel free to let me know in the chat who you're going to suggest. But for now, thanks all for being here, gang. It was a pleasure. MKF, take care. Red Spear, thank you for being here as always. Dot Hacker, we'll see you. Naga, we'll see you. Stonker, Deckley, good night, friends. Uh, and before we wrap up, a huge, huge thank you to our amazing moderators. Once again, cannot thank them enough for all that they do for our community here. Love you, mods. All right. A wholesome message next time for sure, Red Spear. I look forward to it. Hey, Lamonia, thank you for the follow. Eki Moans, good night. Cozy Char, good night. Good night, friends. See you next time.